There is nothing else to live for. All hope is lost. All hope is lost. All hope is lost and I have come to the end of the road. It is just best to drink this poison and end it all. Put an end to my misery. It is better to be dead than to live a life without meaning. It's better to be found here then in the solitude of my house than to live a life of mockery before the eyes of everyone. What are you doing here? What do you want? I can see you're determined to take your life because you feel there's nothing more to live for. But I've come to put it to your face that only fools take their own lives. You don't know my story. You don't know my struggle. You are not going to dissuade me from taking this action. They are controlling you from afar. They want you to be destroyed. Don't play into their hands. Your days of doom are over. What are you saying? A man has decided to solve his problems by ending it all. Why are you trying to stop him? You are the same man who hijacked his destiny. Let him be for you know he is destined for greatness. That which a man will do to help himself is buried deep in his heart. Be a man. Follow your heart. Listen to this woman and your sorrows will continue to multiply. Let me get you something to eat. No, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. Ah, maybe ah. later. Why don't you want to eat? I'm okay. <laughs> okay. I'm fine. Okay. I see you're happy. You're so happy. Look at you. You're all smiles, eh? This is your new job. The paycheck <laughs> must be very fat. No, no, nah, ah, come on. Okay. Not that fat. It's fat. It's fat. <laughs> yeah. But I'm happy for you. Yes. At least you know, have this, you know. Salary coming in every month. You know, it's some kind of assurance. Okay, yeah, there you're right. <laughs> yeah? Because business has been really bad. Selling female stuff is like the most challenging thing. You will not believe it. You see, my friends, they will buy clothes from me on credit, though, and then they will still expect me to leave the money for them. Like they gave me money to start business. Can you imagine? Oh, Are you serious? I think I prepare this one. Stressless. Yeah, but uh, uh, this is just like support. You know, you just support that ongoing business. You know, something to fall back on sometimes when business, you know, 
decides to be somehow. Uh, 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 before you get comfortable, I have to go. I have to go. I have somewhere to be. I have a meeting with a friend, a business meeting with a friend. I have to go. Okay. Don't make that face now. I have to go. I'm alone in the house. Sophie is out. I'll be so bored. Okay, let me come with you. Mm -hmm. Look, I'll just sit in the car and wait for you. I'm just going to be sitting there pretty. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. It's okay. <laughs> you know, I like you around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let me change my clothes. Okay, that, that's your phone. I want me to check it. No! Let me check your phone. No! Me, give me your pin. <laughs> Let me see what you're up and about. The guy said he was going to come out. What is happening? He just left me in there. I was asking what's happening. What is it? There's no fuel in the car. What? There is no fuel in this car. I'm sorry. Sorry for But you, you, you know you know that the car gauge is not working, so I, I thought we had fuel in it. I, I, and, 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 and So I, I knew, which means you knew about it. So why could you not just buy fuel to, to just tap up for safety? Uh, that's because I, I, I thought that whatever it is that we, we have in the tank would, would take us wherever we're going. You thought common sense should tell you that's not possible because if your gate is bad. You're shouting. Let me shout because. <sighs> Jesus Christ. How can you be this careless? Nathan. So what? You're embarrassing me. Take it easy. It, it, it's, just, it's just petrol. We, we can get petrol. Just! And now we're stuck here. How do we go? Track? We have to buy petrol. Is there a fuel station around here? Yes, I, I, I know one down the road. If you can just give me your ATM card, I can get petrol. Jesus Christ. You have your card, don't you? Please, now, just give me your card. It's fine. Oh, even though he cannot fix, he can't do anything in the car. What kind of life is this? Here, you can use this. You have my thing. I'm sorry about it. Please, that. save it. Just, just take care of this. You can't, you can't. I'll, I'll be, I'll be back. Where's the keg? I'll get the keg. Hey, babe. Ah, you look tired. Are you okay? Yes, I'm good. Just I'm okay. I'm just exhausted. Mm. Sorry. That reminds me. Did you have visitors or something? Because, you know, I came back, I was really hungry. And I went to the port, nothing was left for oh. me. I'm sorry. I know you don't eat much. I've eaten, so I just had to pack the rest for Nathaniel. What's that look? I want to understand something. You gave my food to your boyfriend and you knew I haven't eaten. Ah! Oh, wrong now. It's wrong now. Now, let me ask you. How will this boyfriend of yours stand on his feet? Because I want to know. Because the next thing now is, 
he will pack all his his rags and come here and start living with us. No, no, no. If, look, tell me, what we what? Come on, stop exaggerating. You know it's not that bad. You and I know I'm not exaggerating. It's bad. No, you, you do this one. You do this one. You carry my food, give your boyfriend. That your, that your, that your broke boyfriend. You wicked. You, you, you are very a wicked person. You be without a wench. You're a wench. Terrible. Uh uh. What did happen? You cook finish. You got it and go and give man. Now man, I go chop. What's all this one? See, I'm not, I'm not eating food. Did I tell you what? I'm watching my boots. Ah, hello, Sophie is right. The situation is getting worse by the day. Imagine not being able to afford to fuel his car, lying to me about the faulty fuel gauge. <sighs> but what can I do? I have to stand by him. Is this how it's going to be every day of my life? Huh? A man will wake up without hope of anything. He will go out and still come back to his house without hope. Is this how I shall continue to live? Is this the life that I was created for? God, please help me. Hello, Kachi? Yeah, Nathana, what's up? Kachi, I'm not fine. Kachi, I'm not fine. Listen, a, a lot is going on with you. Nathaniel, please. I just came back from Scotland. Can I call you back, please? Yeah, don't give me a straw. Please, can I call you? Can I call you back, please? Go. Okay, uh, I, I'll wait for your call, bro. I'll call you, I'll call you. No, no, these days he just washes me off the phone. He would say he, he would call. He he never calls back. But I hope he calls. I hope he calls. I'm going crazy. I hope he calls. What am I going to do? Become a foodie. How won't I eat? I woke up very, very hungry. When, when you and your boyfriend ate all my food, thief. <laughs> uh, my baby. My baby. Ah uh ah. -uh. So I, I will not hear the last of this in this house, Abby. <laughs> Sorry, now. Anyways, I'm ready for work. You look nice. Thank you. So you've forgiven me, yeah? No. <laughs> um, babe. Can you bail me out? I beg, I don't have money. See, please, I just need small transport fare. Mm? I don't have cash on me. That's why. Okay, when I'm coming back from work, I'll just withdraw and bring you cash. Or I'll, I'll, I'll just transfer the money to transfer you. Transfer it now. Transfer it now, now. Be fast now. I'll, I don't I'll even know if it. I have much, but let me check. I'll check, 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 check. <laughs> mm, fine, babe. I beg, leave me. <laughs> Hmm. Baby, I hate to see you in this mood. What, what about the contract you told me about? What's up with it? Well, the one that I was supposed to supply building materials. Yes. I remember you told me it's an estate project. I was really in high spirits about the prospects of it. What eventually happened? 
If I tell you what happened with that contract, you will not believe me. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Do I know you? Yes, sir. You know me. I, I have been here a couple of times, but your people will not let uh, me see you, sir. I know you, sir. I am the young man whose contract you approved, sir. What's yeah, about that? a month ago. So you told me to come back and see you for mobilization, sir. What uh, project is that? I am the permanent secretary in the government house, and all the whole project I have at hand have all been mobilized. So what are you talking about? I'm talking about the ABC project, sir. I, I, I'm, you, you contracted me to do uh, supplies and installation, sir. You, you remember me, sir? I don't remember you. How can you say don't remember me, sir? I was coming to your office every day for about three months. Sir. Now listen to me, young man. I do not know you, and I am pretty sure we have not met before. Sir, you 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 approved my the contract, sir. I, I, I'm telling you, you know me, sir. Okay. If you say we have met before, let me see your proof. I, I have one second. I have it here. Yes, sir. Sir, so just, so just, just, just be patient, sir. Ah, I'm waiting. You see? You are confused. No, sir. I, I have I have it. You are confused. No, sir. I have it, sir. I have it. Okay. Uh -huh. uh -huh. What is going on here? I'm telling you that I have. I know what you want, man. No, sir. I have I the documents. Know. I know, sir. I, you, you. So where is the document? I, I must have misplaced it. It's either at home or something. I, sir, sir, you approved my quotation, sir. I'm telling you, sir. So what I was... is? Wait, wait, let me see it. Sir, sir, if you just let me talk, I sir, know I can explain. What you young men can do, going up and down, frosters, looking for people to defraud. Anyways, I will advise you get something better doing. And do not try this with me next time. No, sir. I am because you will not be this lucky. No, sir. I am a contractor, sir. I'm already doing something with my life. I, 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 now, I get out of this place before I get you arrested. You think I'm joking? I said, leave this. You want me to call the court on you? I'm sorry, sir. Leave what? this place now. This is how you young men go about looking for people to default. I say, I don't know you. You don't know me. I don't know you. Your face is not ringing a bell. Now, leave. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I am waiting for you. Leave this place. Ah, that is how you people go about looking for people to defraud. Nonsense. Nonsense. Go, 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 go. Get me out of here. Oh, this is the document. Now, is this not the document? Is this, this is the document. This is the document, sir. You know me. Ha! What kind of, what kind of temptation is this? What, what, kind of, what kind of temptation is this? What, what, what is this? Eh? Is this not the paper I was looking for? This is the paper I was looking for now. As if I was spiritually blindfolded. I was, I was looking for the document. I couldn't find it, and it was right there. But I, I didn't see it. You know? Wow. Well, probably you were just destabilized. That's why you could not go through the documents carefully in front of him. As for the MD, you know there are people who are just bad at recognizing faces. Remember, I'm one of such people. So I don't think it's that serious. I've just been so devastated, you know. I, I, I couldn't even get myself to, to, to tell you what had happened. I've been so embarrassed, you know. And then he said that all contracts have been mobilized. 
meaning that someone took my deal, baby. Some, someone took our deal. My love, don't worry, okay? I believe that God will do his miracle soon. Let's just be hopeful, all right? Do you think he did not recognize me? Because I, I go to his office all the time, baby. I, I'm always there. I'm always in his face. How is it that on that day he, he could not recognize me? I, uh, I think he was lying. I think he was pretending. Well, honey, whatever it is, I believe that what is yours will never pass you by. Right? What am I going to do without you? I just love the way you hold me up when I'm down. I like the way you soothe my pains when I'm frustrated. I am. God, I'm lucky to have you. Thank you. Anything for you, my darling. Anything for you, my darling. Thank you. Now, I have to get us something to eat. Hmm? What? Good. Hello? Hey, what's up? Yeah, I I'm just calling to update you, okay? Before you start to get worried. <laughs> I'm at my toenails. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, I'll see you tomorrow then. Thanks for letting me know. Mm-hmm. I know I can always count on you. Thank you, darling. All right. Enjoy your evening. You too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what did this girl see in the sky? Me. Hey, I can never, ever, ever suffer with a man after he if he now makes it he will not dump me it's just few of them few of those men that will always remember the people that suffered with them as for me i'm not gonna try him sophia <laughs> suffer with man when i get money no sense. Okay, if you and your friend, I heard you on the phone talking. You, you two are good. Oh, yes, we're fine. Why did you ask? Are you sure? Yes. Well, I'm just saying because you know, it looks like she's been cold towards me lately. Maybe it's me, but I'm sure it's not me. She's been cold towards me. <laughs> Babe. Yes. There's nothing wrong with us, okay? Sophie and I are just fine. Please, let's forget about Sophie, right? Come on, let's concentrate on us. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Well, just mm -mm. Mm -mm. remember, I've been, I've been around people all my life. I went to boarding school. I spent, lived in the hostel for years. So, so I know people. When I say someone is cold towards me, I, I know what I'm talking about. Are we still on this? Baby, it is what I said, okay? Maybe you always meet her when she's in a bad mood. There's nothing to it. Can okay. we just forget about Sophie? Mm, let's just focus on us right now. What do you want? I missed you the whole day. You want some sugar? Mm -hmm. Are you sure you can handle the sugar? <laughs> Good morning. 
I made breakfast. Okay, I'll be you now. Have a good day. You come back here, I suppose. Not today, darling. Why not? Come on. <laughs> I know you want to see me every day, yeah. but I have things to do, remember? <laughs> okay. All right, darling. Um. Is there a problem? Um, um, not really. It's just that uh, there's a small contract that I'm pursuing and uh, I am going to be needing to see the MD today. Oh, that's great. I wish you good luck, babe. Okay? Yeah, uh, just, I, 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 can I get um, some money for, for transport? Please. I don't understand. Are you paying to see him? No, for transport. That's what I just said. For transport. My my, my, my car has issues. You you know. You know, and I I haven't fixed it yet. Please. You know, babe, I'm not paid because I always have to give you money these days. I'm just paying that even the smallest of your problems can't solve on your own. I always feel so sad that I can't even help you find a solution to this problem. Um, I want to help you, babe, solve it once and for all. How can we do this? You know, I just get weak when you when you talk like this. I'll make you a transfer, okay? Let me know when you get it. Enjoy your day. shopping oh well my boyfriend one of my boyfriends actually took me for shopping like a surprise shopping <laughs> mm. <sighs> that's really lovely of him and yeah nice. all of them are designers you know how they wear cheap cheap stuff <laughs> wow girl <laughs> hmm. well, you're really lucky Enjoy, let me freshen up. Okay, I think I have these things to do home, actually. Whew. Oh my! Oh God. It's been a while I gave testimony like this. When will Nathaniel be back on his feet? I know he'll do more for me. Hello? Hey, bro. How's it going? Ah. Huh. <sighs> well, you know that I... I'm not in a good place right now to raise that kind of money. I can't um, raise the kind of funds you're talking. Yes. All right then, tomorrow, let's see how it goes. Sure, tomorrow, we'll meet up. Ah. Seventy-five million. If I'm able to broker a deal of seventy-five million, A little profit from that can go a long way right now, given my, given my circumstances.
how long am I supposed to continue like this? A man who cannot afford basic needs for himself, how is he going to think of another person? Ordinary money to transport himself to a place for interview. Nathaniel does not have. Is there a solution to this? God, when will all this even stop? Today. It's okay. Ow! Shit. There was a lot of walking around in that mall. I know. My waist. <laughs> Let me get us something to eat, right? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I have to be at that meeting I told you about in 30 minutes. Oh. So I really have to run. Right. Okay. Let me just take this inside. Okay. Right. I'll be right back. Whew. that happened at the mall today. Yeah. I can't get it out of my head. What? What if that girl had no money on her? Oh. <laughs> the guy's car got declined. He asked his woman for support. <laughs> I don't see anything wrong with that. Babe, it might look like just a pillar, but I have my doubts. I don't trust that guy. <laughs> Did you even look at that girl's face? She looked like that guy had made it a habit, you know, to be asking her for money. But I don't see what's wrong with a man asking his woman for support, you know. <laughs> well, I don't see anything wrong with it either, but mm -mm, this case is just suspicious. <laughs> I swear to you. Whatever. That's their business. So that come, come walk me to the car. I have to go. What? Okay, I'm going to call you after the meeting is done. Is that okay? Sounds more like it. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. <laughs> This is not a bailout anymore. This is more than a bailout. What do I do? God, I love him so much. I can't leave him. I don't know how you're going to react, but this guy is gradually turning you into a wreck. Why are you so uncharitable with your words sometimes? What do you mean by turn me into a work? <sighs> Baby girl, you're in a mess. You're in a mess because you feel like you cannot leave this guy because of the time you have invested in the relationship, you know. But I'll tell you the truth. You can. You can leave him. I honestly do not know where this is coming from. Who told you I'm planning to leave my guy? Stop calling him that, please. He's not your guy. Babes, have you looked at yourself in the mirror lately? You look drained, girl. You look drained. You look sapped out. So, so, sucked out. Girl, this is not the Julie I know, man. What's going on, girl? Let me ask you this, Sophie. What if Nathaniel and I were married before all these problems and this business came up? Would you still advise me to leave him? Hmm. That's a highlight. We're married. But you were not married to him. You were simply in the relationship, in quote. I mean, 
That's why it's called a relationship. It's not a do or die affair. If it's not working on main girl, take your ass out of there. Your relationship with this guy is parasitic, like one prey, one host. What is, girl, come on. You can do better than this. Look, Sophie, the only thing I need from you right now is to console me. As you already know, I am not myself these days. The only thing I need from you is for you to console me. I am going to continue to tell you the truth because you're my friend. Well, Nathaniel is a nice guy, yeah. But if he's not ready to sit his lazy ass up, then you should leave this man. Let me ask you a quick one. When was the last time he sent you money? Sorry, I quote. When was the last time he sent your mother money in the village? Of course, he, 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 of course he doesn't have the money too. But you have been busy sending this man money, funding his pockets. And I've been, you know, something has been really ringing in my head, like, this guy might have another woman out there he's funding with the money he's been collecting from you, you know. Oh, please stop that. He'll never do that. My sister, all men are the same. All men are the same. Girl, come on now. Open your eyes now. Shine your eyes. What's going on with you? What's popping? What's happening? Hey. I'm just so confused. I guess he's the one calling lazy man. <laughs> it's not him, it's, it's mama. She wants to come visit her. I don't have money to spend right now. Okay, the same thing I have been, the same thing I've been saying, girl. You do not have money to give your mother because you have been giving all your money, you have been funding a man. I mean, he's not supposed to be the other way around, like a man taking care of his, of his woman, not the other way. You see what I'm saying? You have your mother and your younger ones, and you're taking care of a man. Sophie. Please. Can you just leave me alone? Let me be. If you do not have anything nice to say to me, just let me be. As you can see, I am not okay. Please. I swear for you. See, you say you're not my friend, I will slap you. I swear, this guy is like they pay me for my, for my intense time. You, you know you do like, you're not, you're not even doing like a city girl. Get away, open eye. Oh God, open your eye. This guy, this guy, they use you now. You don't, you, you don't use us. You be ATM machine, you know they understand. They pay me for body, so you know they. Oh God, I, I will not, I will not pull your weed. Now you don't get sense. But I will not give you not make you take get sense. Man, they use you, you know they see. Open your eyes now. What's wrong with you? This is not the Julie I knew now. Uh-uh. What's, what's all this nonsense? Lizzie. Welcome, please sit down, ma. Thank you. Please sit down. Thank you, dear. Hey. Now, how was your journey? Fine, fine. Okay. Fine. Uh, well, I've been calling her. She wouldn't pick my call. So, I decided to come see her. I, I was thinking maybe something had happened. No, no, nothing happened, man. The thing is, she has been busy lately. I guess that's why she hasn't been picking your calls. It's okay. I'm here now. Okay, Let me get you something to drink. Just water. Fine. Thank you. Welcome. All right. These children will not kill me. Eh? Look at the kind of food these children are eating. That's why they are not strong. Neck of Addis. Kokoko are Greek. Eh? Oh God. Is this one food? Thank God I came with food stuff. I will just go into the kitchen and prepare some good food. Let them know what is food. 
Ma fa che sti ticche. Ehi! Vai. Ma se non so c'è a fuori. I'm not relaxing. Your people need good food to be strong. You need good food. <laughs> Your people will just be eating this rubbish you call food. Eh? This is how you will learn this habit and take it to your husband's house. And you'll be cooking all this nonsense you call food. Mama, but you know we, we can actually eat healthy and be strong without consuming all those village heavy carbohydrates. My dear, correct fufu is not heavy carbohydrates. It's not. If you eat it with correct soup, you'll be very healthy. <laughs> okay, you're not. <laughs> funny, it's funny. Oh, well, you know, that's why I like having you around because you always make me forget my sorrow. Go for it. You will not see sorrow. Amen. Ah. Amen. Man, for what sorrow? Yes, mama. I am going to cook correct bitter leaf. Hey. You will eat it with fufu. Hey. And you will see how strong and healthy you will be. Ah. Okay, oh, eh? I'm watching my weight. I'm already big. Pregnant women don't want to push anymore because they don't want stretch mat. Every little thing they will say operation. <laughs> eh? Okay. Hey! Mm. Oh, let me ask you. What is wrong with you and your friend? Do you people want to live as single ladies for life? You don't want to get married? Let her go and come back and explain to me why she's still single. Mama, you know, good men are really hard to find these days. We all have to be careful. It is you girls that are being selective. You want men that are already made, that can give you the whole world. Have you ever seen an ultimate man? There's no ultimate man. There's no one man that... You get married when you get yourselves. You are happy with yourselves. The little he has, the little you have, you get married and you begin to build. That is how it is. Those ones that you think are made, the ultimate. I get you no one way go on. Hey, working class woman. I am so tired. How are you? Adio. A surprise awaits you. What surprise? Mm. Is Nathaniel here? Come on! Ah. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> How are you? You told me you were coming! Mm. That's the purpose. Since you won't attend to my calls, I decided to come. I'm sorry, Mama. Mm. I'm sorry. You don't work now. Sometimes it's so stressful. Okay. Well, you're not looking bad, dude. Look, Look at that. that. Mm, thank <laughs> you. How's Nanda? That one. He's preparing for his work exams. Ah, I hope he's fine. He's fine. Okay. He's okay. Ah, you're okay. welcome. Ah, Thank you. Good food for us I now. No <laughs> more noodles. Are you so <laughs> Mommy, you, you bring those. That's why I'm here. Those I are going on. That is why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mama. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. You were more. I tell you. So you didn't know more than like this kind of food. I didn't know. I forgot. I could have just made rice. Hey! Oh, Fufu! Then we can't make that food sharp. At least you should have bought it. Mom is forgetting. Oh, babe. Mm -hmm. I feel. What happened? You know her now. The next thing she will come in and talk to me about marriage. Ah, husband issue. Uh, I need to introduce Nathaniel to her. Why? What do you mean, why? Why would you want to introduce Nathaniel at his present condition? What is wrong with the state? There's nothing wrong with his present state. What's the problem? Sorry. I'm sure you will even be happy if I introduce him. Mm. Mm. Yes. Okay. No wala. Whatever you say is fine. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Mm. you want to go upstairs, okay? Oh. 
Because I'm here. No, Mama, I, I, have a, I have an early meeting tomorrow morning. If I don't sleep earlier, I'll miss it. Mama, let me go and sleep here. Eh? I'll see you in the morning before I go to work. Good night, Ma. Sophie. Hmm? Good night. Eh? Okay, I'm coming. Oh, good night. Hmm. Um, Mama, I, uh -uh. I also need to go to bed early. Is that how you sleep in the city? Mama, early to bed is early to bed. It's still early. Yes, Mama, you also need to go to bed on time. Good night. Bye. Oh. Mama, I just want to roll on. Huh? What's wrong with them? What's the time now? Ah, Mommy. Good afternoon, Mommy. <laughs> mommy, I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. It's really nice to meet you, Mommy, finally. Mm, thank you. Thank you, my son. <laughs> uh, my daughter has said so much about you. But um been wondering why both of you have not come to the village, at least for introduction. You know? We are taking it one step at a time. Okay. Yes, she's right. We are, we are, we are working on it, Mommy. We're working on it. Okay, <laughs> it's all right. Well, you know, um, because my daughter, she has to get married. She has responsibilities. Her younger ones are there. So the earlier she gets married, the better. So she will be focused in life, you know. So please, get done with it. Yes, mommy. We love each other so much and we want to be together. We're, we're working on it. Okay. Working okay, no time. No time, so... <laughs> Be fast about it. <laughs> thank, mm? thank you. Mommy. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome, my dear. <laughs> now, mommy, let me get yes, some yes. to go ahead. Excuse me. You're welcome, my dear. Uh, thank you, mommy. Thank you, mommy. How are you, ma? I'm good. Thank you. How are your parents? Uh, they are fine. <laughs> ah, your mom. Very funny woman, <laughs> but she's also very blunt. She speaks yeah. her mind. You finally met her. You've been wanting to write. That's my mom for you. I have, her, but I like her. You know, she just says it as it is. Yeah. Yes. You know. Mm -hmm. um, sweetheart. How about the money? The oh. one you said you were going to arrange. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't give it to you until because she's been there. I know. So I had to. I need it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I know that uh, your mom is around and I won't be able to, to see you uh, as often as I want to see you. Yeah. But it's just for me to hold on to in case I need to get something for myself. That's fine, honey. As for the other money, I'll give it to you once I get my salary, okay? I understand. <laughs> um, and you know that um, I won't be able to see you often, like you said, but I'll still come. You know me. Once I start to miss you, I'll come. You should miss me because <laughs> I'll miss you too, okay? I, I want you to know that all the help that you render would not count for nothing. I, I would think it would be better. I know. Uh, and I love you. I love you too. So I should be able to help whenever needed. Thank mm -hmm. you. Oh, you. <laughs> you too. Alrighty, let me go. I'll call you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are my eyes deceiving me or something? Is this who my daughter wants to get married to? Oh! Oh! My daughter is in big trouble. Hey! Hey! Mama? Why are you looking at me like that? Are you sure that young man you introduced to me is okay and ready to get married? Mama, where's all this coming from? 
<laughs> I asked you a question and I need an answer. Is that man financially okay to take care of you? It's not about big cars. Mama, I don't know what you're talking about. Mama, you're the one who's been talking marriage, marriage, marriage. Now I have a man and you're still complaining. What do you want me to do? Not this one. No, no, no. With what I saw out there, he's not the man for you. If you have not found a man, keep searching. Keep searching. Because, I, I, like I said, I don't want you to fall victim. No. No, 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 no. His pocket is sick from what I saw. Mama, what did you see? Eh? What? See, Mama. Nathaniel is a very nice guy. And I love him. I want to spend the rest of my life with him. Mama, if you can just sit down and try to know this guy, you will love him too. Okay. No problem. No problem. If that is what you want to do, who am I? I can't stop you. No, I can't stop you. Good afternoon, Mama. Good afternoon. Yes, Mama. Julie is not around. Ah. Oh, okay. I, I, I can just stay with you, Mama, so I can keep you company but until she returns. I'll just be here. <laughs> You're coming to keep me company and you came empty handed. Is it that you didn't get anything to buy out there? Or is it that you're stingy or broke or both of them? Hmm? Hmm? Don't give me that look. Please. Is it that you don't have sense? You're coming to see your mother-in-law and you're coming empty-handed. Eh? Please go back to your house and wait for her. I'm sorry. But I, I, but I promise to do better the next time. I, I... You promise to do better next time you're coming. You don't have next time. You don't. Go, go, come on. Get out of here. I said go. Mama, is everything okay? Are you in a bad mood? What is your business? You are in a bad mood. What is your business? I said you should go. I don't want to see your face. Go! Because this is Come here, play for Come, come, get out! Ah! Mama! 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 I just, I heard you shouting. And I thought I heard Nathaniel's voice. Don't mind that, that a flip. A flip. He came to keep me company. And he came empty-handed. Eh? Mama, just please come. Just relax. Calm, Calm down. down. You tell me the truth. Is that guy financially capable? Because the other day, I saw my daughter giving him money. And I also overheard their conversation. He wanted my daughter to borrow him money. <laughs> what kind of thing is that? Mama, that boy or man, as you call him, used to be okay. Used to? Eh, uh, until he having problems with his business. My problem with him is that he's not even going to ask his friends for, for help. <laughs> You know, or change a, a line of business. Uh -huh. Mama, do you know what he did? He started using Julie as ATM machine. Hey Sucking hard drive. Hey collecting money at every opportunity. Hey no, 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 no. My daughter is too young for that kind of stress. Oh, no, 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 I, I won't take it. Mama, Mama. Mama, Mama, I think he's just reluctant and lazy. Because Julie is giving him money. Hey. Mama, tell me, is Nathaniel the first person to lose his job? job. Is he the first person to rise from up to down? Mama, do you know that Julie is giving him money? Hey. Mama, before, let me ask, I'm drunk. Is it a woman that is supposed to give a man money? Or a man that is supposed to give a woman money? Because ask me. Uh, uh, ask me. We need to bring that Julie from this problem. Yes. We must bring her I will problem. tell her the truth. I don't care whether she misinterprets it or she misunderstands me. No, but no, no. You will stop. Mama, I don't want you to stress. Hey, Mama, 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 Mama. Hey. Nathaniel is not worth it. Hey, don't hey. stress it, Mama. Look at him. A full Look at that fine mumu. Hey. No, 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 I won't take it. Mumba, no, no. Hey. It's really a fine mumu. Hey. Mama, just calm down. Take it easy. I don't want you to have BP because of this man. Bam, 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 bam. No, 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 no. Go to Just relax. Leave that thing. Look at, look at, look at that. Look at that guy. Yeah. Look at how tall, how handsome, 
Look at his bills. Mm. And they see her collecting money from my Mama, daughter. I'm bad on her. Hey, I'm bad. It will not happen, Baba. But just relax. It will not even happen. Relax, Mama. Let him, let him go. Let him go, Biko. Let him go. Hey, baby. Watch your face, my friends. I thought you were coming to the house to see Mama. I don't think your mother likes me. She said that I am broke. I want to be able to take care of you. What? Where's all this coming from? She said that it's wrong of me to come around her empty handed. That I should have known better. Uh, well, I'm... Um... I'm sure she's just assuming, okay? You don't have to take it personal. Did she at any point discuss anything concerning me with you? No, nothing like that. That's, <laughs> that's why I'm surprised. For Mama to boldly say these things, she said, it means Sophia said something to her. Well, let's go with your assumption that uh, she was in a bad mood. Yeah. Yeah. Look, babe, it's okay. All right? I am sure everything is fine. I am sure that by the time I get home and talk to her, she would be over whatever kind of bad mood she was in when you saw her. Okay? <laughs> I am tired. What did you tell Mama? I did not tell her anything, no. I did not tell her anything. Mama to tell Natanya the things she said today? Then someone definitely told her something. And that's you. What did she tell him? That he's broke? I can't take good care of me. Where on earth could she have heard such? It's obvious. I, I didn't say anything, no. I did not say anything. She saw you when you were giving him money. And she, she heard your conversation with him. So she just asked me uh, if what she was thinking is true and I just affirmed the truth. That's all. What? Why did you do that? Why are you shouting at me? Did I say anything bad? I just... Uh, see, someone has to say the truth. Oh, and you decided that you are in the best position to tell my mother the truth. Sophie! Okay, you want to beat me? You want to beat me? Oh, yeah, beat me now. Sophie! Sophie, I will, oh! You are looking for my trouble, oh! Why are both of you standing there shouting? Is anything the matter? Eh? Oh, man, you can't do it more. Eh? I do not see any reason why you should be so angry with Sophie. We're just looking out for you. See, if you were both married before you started having problems in his business, you know I would have stood by you and encouraged you because that is what a good wife should do. Support your husband. But in this case, my dear, it is different. It is different. What guarantee do you have that when he comes back on his feet, he will come and marry you as his wife? Mama, Nathaniel is a good man. He has been there for me. You see this house? He paid the rent for two years. The one year rent has not even expired. Talk more of the second year. And that's the roof over your head right now. This is the same house where Sophie lives with me. Sophie who is against him right now. Mama, he's a good man. This man took care of my feeding and all when I lost my job until I got a new one. 
And that's how I was able to send you and Nana some money. Mama, tell me, will it be fair if I abandon him now that he's down and I cannot even help him in my own little way? Will it be fair? It's good you remember everything that he has done for you. But let me tell you, a man can give you all the money, all the attention as a friend. But does he have feelings to have you as his wife? Nathaniel is different, Mama. He's different. But my dear, you know people change. But well, I hope and pray that he gets back on his feet and comes to marry you as soon as possible. Because my patience is running out. Everybody wants me to leave Nathaniel. Is that really the right decision? I want. I don't want to ever offend him. Even if he recovers from his financial problems and refuses to marry me, I will take it as my fate. But I will never hurt him because he has never hurt me. So why are you just sitting there not saying anything to me? Eh? On if any name kuzeba and rubbish. Everything I have said, I have advised, I have scolded, everything is nonsense to you. Eh? I'm not worth a response. It's okay. No problem. Um, I'll be leaving first thing tomorrow morning. Okay, yes. I came to see how you're faring, and I think I've seen it. I need to go back. Mama, I thought you'd spend more, more weeks with us. Oh, hey, <laughs> I would have loved to do that. Then my petty business will suffer if I you manage, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what I used to, you know. <laughs> mm. So, um, you, you remember I left Nana alone, you know. Mm -hmm. But before I leave, I want to beg both of you to please stay at peace. Please. Please. Mama, I'm not one with anybody. Or. I just don't like the kind of information that she feeds you with about my man. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I, I if I disrespected him. But the truth must be told. Mama, can you hear that again now? Enough, both of you. It's enough. Please. My dear, we're all looking out for you. Eh? She must have overstepped it, but it's okay. Eh? Please. As I go, I want you to continue to live at peace. Just the way I met you, living happily like sisters. Bikonu. No problem, Mama. No problem. We'll be fine. Okay. She has apologized. It's okay. Mama, we are good. Are you sure, both of you? Yes, Mama. Because I don't want to hear story after I leave here. Mama, there will be no story. There won't be stories. There's no issue. Okay. Good to hear. Thank you, my daughters. Please, just begin to continue the way you have been living. Okay? Yes. Yes, Mama. the taxi now. He's parked outside. I just want to see you after the park. Then I'll go to work from there. I thought you could have told your <laughs> Natalia to come and drop me off. Or where was the moto? Does he not have a car again? Mama, eh? whether Natalia drops you off mm. or a taxi driver does, it does not matter now. What matters is that you get to your destination. This is your Natalia. The way you defend him, does he defend you like that? Mm -hmm. eh? Does he defend you like that? Mama, please. This is early morning now. You're traveling. Should we stand here and talking about my man? You have a three hour journey ahead of you. It is my journey, is it yours? Okay, Nana. It's my journey. <laughs> well, I hope I leave both of you in peace. 
Huh? Yes, Mama, we're in peace. Mama, we're, good. we're in peace. I'm going to miss you. Yes, my Don't dear. worry, we'll find time to come and spend. That will be Thank fine. You. That will be fine. I'll okay. miss you too. Okay, Mama. Mommy, can we go now? Where? Let's go. If your shadow leaves you in the dark, I'll never leave your side. Even if the whole world turn against you, I will be right by your side. Don't wait in. Now we wait under the rain. Now we wait under the sun. The fire will keep on burning, and that will keep on going. Say, I will wait. What she did? Yes. Why didn't you tell me now so I can drop her off at the park? Uh, she said she was going to leave, but I didn't want to stress you. You know, the car has been having a mechanic. I didn't know you had picked it up. People like us that are idle, that have the time to sit at the mechanic call, we will get our cars fixed eventually. <laughs> I understand what you mean by that. Yeah. Okay, but this will not continue. We just know that. Uh, I hope so. I just want you to just be patient. Keep praying for me. Things will get better. Okay? Okay, yeah, I think that's the... Yeah, that, okay. That's the, so I don't miss the turn. Okay, that's fine. You know, Babe, you know I, I can't, I can't good. wait for a time where things get better, money starts coming in, and then we can get married and make Mama happy. <laughs> yes, honey. Listen, everything will be fine. I always tell you this, okay? And I believe that you believe that as well. I know. And by the way, why does your mom not disturb you about marriage like mine is? Sweetheart, I'm an orphan. Don't forget. You forget these things. <laughs> it's okay. You know, babe, you, you always make me emotional whenever you remind me that you're an only child and an orphan. It's all right. But you know I'm here for you always, right? I'm yes. I'm family now. Yes. <laughs> you're like my mother. Ah. Hmm? I don't know what I would have done without you. <laughs> I wish I had met your mom, though. Right? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm positive she would have loved you. Oh. Yes, because we, my mom and I are alike in so many ways. Oh, yeah? Yes. Wow. She, she would have loved you just like I love you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you do now. Calm down. Uh, uh, wait, see, you should be vexed. Okay, I know you're still very angry with me. I'm, I'm sorry. But you shouldn't have done that. Huh? You know the kind of person Mama is. Okay, I mean, she saw everything. You should have convinced her otherwise. If I lie now, uh, now everything you see that your mind would talk. I yeah, don't do. Don't do. I do the fix. I am sorry. But I know you're very relieved that she has gone. So that you can have enough space for your Nathaniel. <laughs> You're not serious. I'm very serious. <laughs> Listen, I think we should create out one, you know, one week to go and spend with your mom. How about that? Mm. Mm. You mean as usual now? Mm -hmm. Come. Mm. When are we going to spend one week with your mom as well? Mm. So we can also eat all those soups my mother always prepares for us. Ofu, nubu, and all. <laughs> I came here to seek solution to the problems my man is facing. I'm sure it's not ordinary. From all that have happened to him already. I just... I just know that it's more spiritual. But I believe from all I've heard about you, Great One, that we will find a solution through your ministration. What is the name of this young man in question? His name is Nathaniel Nasopa Echezona. The young man has just mentioned his name has been spiritually poisoned. What? Poisoned by who? It's not poison like what you have in mind. 
I said spiritually poisoned. I'm sure you do not understand what that means. Uh, exactly, Great One. I've never even heard of such before. Please explain further. Something was said. And the person who reported, reported something else. That act of reporting something else is what is called spiritual poison. And that gave room to occultic involvement. You're confusing me the more, Great One. Yes. Because spiritual utterances are only meant for spiritual minds. I will come down to your level. There is a new cult in town. The aim of this cult is to cage the destinies of young promising men, men with good fortunes and shining stars. In this cult, they will turn the fortunes of these young men to themselves, enriching themselves and leaving their victims to die in penury. This same occult is responsible for your man's predicament. Look at this. As you know, she's a potential shanner at Bobo. Church on. As soon you make it shady. Come, my levan, a comat. Ito kuri ito matari ya wajwa anu. Burkeje Bur jebe mbade bagu mbe nabo. Oh, Oko sede. Hmm. <laughs> Obarose. Obarose. I am going to be very sincere with you. You do not have any problem. Yes. Mm. You need to check this thing very well. You need to look deeper. See, I am not doing well in business at all. I am not progressing. All my mates are doing marvelously well, except me. Imagine Nathaniel. Nathaniel that we started together, we started very little, hoping that one day we'll be big. He's blossoming. I mean, he's beginning to diversify. Okay, but um, your friend Nathaniel, Nazoba, Eshozona, is destined to be great. And as a good man that he is, He will always help his friends. You should hold on to that. That is not why I'm here. I want you to use your powerful connection to the occult to prefer solution to my problem. And here you are telling me to be a beggar. Come on. You are mistaking me for someone else. My name is a bubemma, a dibiafa that ministers on the currencies of Ugili. I am not into any cult. And you, you are sitting here telling me to use my powerful connection to the 
all court is misleading. I have no business with the whole court and will never be. By the offer of my fathers, I am superior to the whole court and all the masters of the whole court. Okay. Um, maybe, I mean, just maybe it didn't come out well. But what I'm trying to say is that I need help. And I have told you that that young man you seek to destroy is the only ladder that you need to attain success in life. Go and tell your friend to offer a ram to the spirit of his fathers. Let him tell them to come with him in business. By doing so, doors will open in a massive way to him. And he will never forget you when the time comes. What are you saying? I mean, what are you, what are you, what are you saying? I'm not happy with what you're saying at all. I came here for you to prefer solution to my problem. And instead of doing that, you are here discussing about another person's progress, and abandoning the reason I'm here. The person I am talking about has a destiny that will brighten every other person around him. He sees you as a great friend. Gave him the message. See him grow. And his growth is a super growth. I should have known that this man is nothing. I came all the way to consult this man. Why would he abandon me and face Nathaniel? I don't understand what you're talking about. What about the sentence don't you understand? That your family members are envious of you and very soon they're going to cause you trouble. You should avoid them. I mean, be careful with them. I suppose one fetish priest said this to you. Exactly. And he gave me a stern warning. <laughs> that you, see, all those your uncles in the village, expect those, those old ones in the village, they hate you, they're not happy with you. So you should be very careful with them. I mean, avoid them totally. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is funny? What is not funny? Huh? Is this not even funny to you? Hi, <laughs> Kachibikun. Please, I did not ask you to go to a fetish priest on my behalf. You know, I don't believe in things like this. Uh, uh, I'm not a traditional man, and I'm also not a fetish person. I only believe in God Almighty, the one in heaven, and that's just enough for me. Exactly. In fact, when I was coming here, I told myself, see, just do this for formality's sake. Because I knew my coming here would be a waste of time. Oh, yes, it's too waste of time. I know you won't listen to me. No, no, no. Yes, I can't stop us. But I have an advice for you. You see, the next time when you are in the mood, you feel like going to see a fetish priest, when your body begins to itch, you want a dibia to see into your tomorrow. Please just go there for yourself. Leave me out of it. Really? Stop, ta yeah, stop taking my name, my pictures to fetish priest. I don't need the, that information. So what happens to friendship? You see, when you, when you look out for your friends, I mean, they start taking it for granted. Say, I'm just looking out for you. Don't look out for me. Don't look out for me. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Meanwhile, there is business, huh? Be here very early tomorrow. I'm introducing you to a client. Um, they need someone to supply fittings for an for entire complex. Exactly. So I want both of you to meet so that you can do the supplies and then I get my commission. That's fine. Okay, so um, what time do you want to be here? Oh, no, very early. Early enough so that we set out and beat traffic. Very early. Early enough. Before you go and see your fetish priest, just come here. I do that.
You have this small thing. You want to start talking now? Don't worry. See, see, see. see. I knew Nathaniel is an idiot. Too full of himself. Thank God I did not even pass the main message. There is no need, for he will still not believe or do any of the things a Bema asked him to do. I wonder what is giving him this much confidence. Maybe because his business is booming well more than most of us. I wonder why all these clients go through him. Yes, they always approach him first. And then he now start the buga. They feel like he has all the connection in the whole world. What rubbish. What nonsense. Wow. We're going to have to now. That man of the ancestors delivered the message that would have uplifted them. He hid the truth and told lies to your man. I know that friend of his, but that's been a while I saw them both together. Please, great one, what is the possible solution to this? Let him make those sacrifices. Let him get into partnership with the spirit of his ancestors. His problems and worries will be over. The evil force will be defeated. And the dark cloud disappear. Go and tell him that. I don't know if you'll listen to me. Great one, I actually came here to seek a solution where I would do all the needs but without involving him. Please, can't I just make all the sacrifices on his behalf? As far as his solution is concerned, he must be involved. You cannot make that sacrifice on his behalf. He needs to be there, make the prayers, go and tell him what you have heard. The reason I am excited is that I have been told that I have all it takes in terms of qualification to execute this contract, and I'm happy. Do you understand? <laughs> so, what is holding them from approving it? Well, the MD assured me that um, given my past record that I, I stand most qualified for the contract. However, the board of directors would have to, you know, do a second review before they begin to disburse funds for mobilization. That's what we're waiting for. Yes. So, I guess that's their protocol. Oh, that's their protocol, yes. So, how long is this going to take? Give and take. End of the month. End of the month. So, two weeks from now, right now. You see, I've always known that this your situation is only but temporary. Once in a lifetime, a man must go through trials. That's inexorable. And I have been through a lot lately. And sometimes I wonder what I would have done without my woman. Coming to that, I will advise you to hold that your woman very tight. Such women are hard to come by. I know. I want you to have this at the back of your mind. But you don't forget what you did by help. No, I'm done. Should I serve you now? Oh no, I'm not hungry yet. Okay. Right. So later, we'll eat together, I guess. Yeah. Are you okay? What's the matter? 
I'm not happy. I need to discuss something with you. Slow down. Slow down. It is about us. I, 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 I want you to know that I know that you have tried. I know that all that has been happening around is enough, you know, for you not to be happy. Oh, please don't hurt me. Don't, don't leave me now. Things will get better. No, far from it, babe. What I want to discuss with you is a solution. A solution to all this, all these hard times. Baby, please, you need to calm down, okay? Look, I know that even if you do not voice it, things are not how they used to be. This woman revealed to me how Kachi was sent to give you a message, but he did not do it right. Now, whether Kachi did it right or not, if you know me as much as Kachi does, you would know that I will never get involved with spirits, native doctors, fetish things. It's, it's not who I am. I know. No, you don't. Baby, I know you. I know all of that about you. But you know, Sometimes we just have to go out of our way to, to, to achieve success. You need to give to Caesar what is Caesar's. Even the Bible says it. Okay, baby, all you need to do is make sacrifice so that all this burden will be lifted. Oh, that's the word. Burden. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you call me a burden. Oh, so I'm now a burden. If you feel that it's too much to take, why didn't you just tell me? Oh, I would have long found a way out of your life. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let me ask you, when life was good, I was making money, life was sweet, business was going very well. What spirit did I make sacrifice to? Baby, you're getting this all wrong. No, you're getting it all wrong, all right? I'm a businessman. No legit businessman has a smooth all the way to the end. Sometimes there are hard times. I am going through a difficult time, Julie, and I'm going to come out of it. And in doing so, I do not need to go bow to a deity or any kind of shrine. This is a phase. It's going to come to an end. And if you're tired and you cannot deal with it, then get out of my life. Hey! Baby. Yes, leave. Baby, you are misinterpreting everything. How? I did not mean it that way. You know this, babe. I didn't mean it that way. Baby, I want the best for us. And that's why I had to go out of my way to seek solution. Please, you just have to appreciate this. Appreciate me at least. If I did not love you, I will not do that. I'm not a body. Oh. I guess it's just honestly. Even if the whole world turn against you, I will be right by your side. I'm waiting. We wait under the rain. Now we wait for the sun. Hey, you don't mean to tell me this is what you went through in the house of that man? I have never seen or heard this kind of thing. Sophie, you know how much I love Nathan. Yes, I love him. Sophie, this man used to take care of me, even you. I took in his pending. I mean, things are not how they used to be with him. The least I can do is help him seek solution. I get some before no be property, my sister. Listen, the man don't, he, he feels like he doesn't have a problem. Why are you bothering yourself unnecessarily? Let the man fix his problem himself. Let him sort himself out. I love him, and I want the best for him. You love him. You want the best for him. Well, whatever. Whatever. I want you to know that. 
in your quest to loving this man, do not hurt yourself. Yes, at least know this and know peace. You are just a girlfriend. Chicken, um, I'm not done. You are a girlfriend, not even a fiance. He's not even married to you. What is your problem? I am his fiance, Sophie. <laughs> uh, now you're, you're, the, you're the cause of your problem. Let me tell you. Like I was saying, a real man will go out there and look and fend for himself. You are the one making this man lazy. You are the one making this man feel so comfortable. By the time you leave him, everything will just clear from his eyes. Babe, look at me. Leave this man, open your eyes. Let this man go fix his problems. Come on, girl. What's up with you? They do you. Now let you get a boyfriend. Okay, open your eyes. What's your problem? What nonsense? How did I incur this kind of debt? I have to find a way to begin to sell some of my assets. That's the only way I can. It's almost... What do we have here? Huh? Be calm. Be calm. before you know they come they, they, they come up with love portion in your food and you turn to a, a moron and they begin to take you to to, to native doctors and deities why was it like my calls Africans every everything to them everything has to be fetish It should be 12.5. 12 12.5. 12 <laughs> you didn't eat your food. Um. I, I will. I'm actually waiting for a call. He's not picking, right? You're trying to hide the truth from me. Since you got back, he hasn't returned your calls. He hasn't picked your calls. going through try to eat make you try chop now strength will take beer heart break because if you collapse here i cannot rush you to the hospital i cannot even carry you hmm? try shop hmm. if you don't eat this food i'll eat it too so come on eat Speak up. Just speak up. Switched off? Oh God. Even if your shadow leaves you in the dark, I would never leave you sad. Even if the whole world turn against you, I will be right by your side, down waiting. I will wait under the rain, and I will wait under the sun. The fire will keep on burning, and my heart will keep on going. Say I will wait under the rain. I 
while we wait on that is sun the fire will keep on and my heart will keep on going on cause love is calling he won't pick up his car is outside so he's being and hope so i'm never gonna give up on you Babe, you never leave your side, baby. Love is strong. Baby, I'm sorry. Can you please let me in and let's talk? So I'm never gonna give up on you. And I will Babe, leave your side. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Oh, yeah. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. I don't wait in. Now we wait under the rain. Now we wait under the sun. The fire will keep on burning. And my heart will keep on going. And Say, I will wait under the rain. I will wait under the sun. The fire will keep on burning. And my heart will keep on going on. Cause love is patient and love is strong. For love, endurance, and hope. So I'm never gonna give up on you. And I will never leave your side. Cause love is patient and love is strong. So they will label you fetish? But I meant no harm. I even knew you're sounding like I went there to do some evil or something. I'm sounding the exact same way people will think. Come on, why can't you leave this guy alone? Girl, let him be. I beg, where they talk? You. That you don't even have a man of your own. I should be a fool to listen to you. Girl, that's where you get it all wrong. I mean, that's where you got it all wrong. I have men flocking around me, girl. Mm -hmm. I can't be you. Miserable. Look at you right now. That aside, girl, there's a spot A. The spot A. This party I'm going tonight. I don't want you to come with me. How about that? You don't know past party. Big, I'm not going anywhere with a friend who will never be objective. Just go, enjoy. I know you wouldn't come, but it would really be nice if you, you know, if you tag along, because there'll be interesting things around there. Some guys to meet. Ah, come on. Ah. <laughs> Sophia, beg, even if I wanted to go with you, I'm not going anymore. You just ruined everything. All right? Go, okay? Maybe the god of the bullless will locate you tonight. I am no bullless girl. You if I need a man, are. I'm just going to pick me. You will not get It's a point of peace. It's a point and point and kill anyone you want. See me, I don't distress myself for. As I did like this, if I want any man tonight, girl, it's just my money. You need a man. I don't need a man. So you can begin to know how life works, Sophie. Shut up. Come on now, come with me to this party, please. I'm so boring. This is Nathaniel's car. This is car now. What is he doing around here? Hello, young lady. Hi. What are you doing peeping into my car? Your car? No, but that's not true. This is my fiance's car. I know this car very well. Well, this is my car. I bought it from my mechanic last week. It was actually a distress sale. Um, 
I'm very sorry about this. I I thought it was him. It's okay. It's okay. Anyways, um, I'm Daniel. Good, good. They, they were going out some by today. I didn't see him. Did he say he was here? Julie, are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm fine. Um, you know what? I'll be right back. You just came back. Yeah, don't worry. I'm fine. I'll be back, okay? Ha! This guy shouldn't make my friend run mad one day. Ha! What nonsense. Hmm. Mm. I like this guy. Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm asking you, Nathan. So you sold your car without telling me? The last time I checked, Casting belongs to me. Listen, the fact that you give me money at intervals every now and then to help me out. You know, does not give you the right to question my actions. It's my car. I sold it. <laughs> really? Yes. But I thought your problem was my problem. So I thought. Until you became diabolic. Oh. So right now, please, let me do what I want. No! Nathan, you cannot do whatever you want to do. Because not just your life, it is my life too. I have done so much in this relationship. I have wasted my emotions. I, my time, my money, everything! My life too, Nathan! You think I'll just sit down there, let you do whatever you want, and, and, and let my time with you go to waste? No, you are going astray, Nathan! I will not let you! Look, all you have to do is the needful, and you will be fine! It will never happen. Alright, great. What you call needful is me going fetish. I'm never going to do it. It's against my principles. It will not happen. And I see that you're bent on fighting. So I'm just going to leave you all by yourself so that you can shout this roof down. Nathan, yes. do not walk out on me! Nathaniel! <laughs> okay, that's how you want to play it, right? Walk out on me! Just leave the house too! I am doing my best for you! Just appreciate me for once in your life! I give you money, I spend my, my, my time with you, I make kind of make sure you are fine all the time! And you then you cannot even appreciate me! It's your life. It's not just your life. It's my life too. <laughs> I'm tired. I don't know how long this is going to continue. I don't know if I will continue to cope like this. I'm tired. I'm tired. Okoro, I'm tired. My brother. I knew I would find you here because this is your favorite sport. What do you want with me? Listen, I'm not, I'm not in the mood for your nasty character. Just stay away, please. Well, I guess you already know why I am here. Hmm? I mean, what are you feeling like? Tell me. Do you realize that you are causing my friend emotional trauma? I mean, she's just looking out for you. She's not a bad person. If I were you, well, you cannot be me, but if I were you, I will hold on to her like gold. Let us speak. Nas. Guy. Who is she? That is Julie's friend. I see. exactly is wrong with you? I mean, why are you so scared of losing this guy? Is he with your kidney? Look, he might not be with my kidney, okay? 
But I love him very much, and you know this. Do you have a problem with me loving my man? What is it? I only went there to discuss with him. I mean, I just, I, I only told him he's causing you more harm than good. What's it concern you? Sophie, what is your business with that? How do you know it's doing me more harm than good? How do you know that? Look, I will appreciate it if you can just stay away from my relationship, okay? Whatever happens between me and my man is none of your business. It is my business. Ah. You know why? Because you're my best friend. Whatever concerns you concerns me. If anything happens to you tomorrow, people will ask me. I'll be the first person they will ask. Babes, I'm only trying to help you. I mean, you are at the verge of having blood pressure. Friends, respect each other's privacy. I have told you, stay out of my relationship. I will not have you disrespecting my man. Do you hear me? Judy, this guy needs some space. Can't you see? Let him be. You know him better than me now, right? He's now your man. Hey, if not like this love be, I don't want to love. Let me just remain loveless. And look, I'm trying to, I'm trying to help you. This man will just break. In fact, he will just pieces your heart. Damn. I'm only trying to help you. Greetings, great one. What can I do for you, young lady? Sebo, my fiancé, great one. He has refused to carry out the sacrifice. He said he does not want to be involved with such things. As a matter of fact, we're having serious issues right now in our relationship because of this. Please, great one. Is there another way out? Can you please check, great one? I have told you before. But that young man in question is under a spell by a force. This particular coven causing havoc in his life has only one motive, and that is to use up the destinies of their victims. Their victims keep getting poorer while they keep getting richer. They have caged your man, and the only way out is for him to make those sacrifices that will connect him to the spirit of his fathers. Aside that, there is no way out. This is so frustrating. Especially now that he does not even want to listen to me. How do I do this? Of course you can take a horse to the river. But you can't force the horse to drink the water. That's the only solution open to him. Hi, pretty lady. What are you doing standing under this scorching sun? I'm waiting for a cab. All right. But this place looks dry. Let me take you to wherever you're going. No, thank you. I'll soon get a cab. Come on, you're not even certain. I know you remember my face. Allow me to take you wherever you're going. At least this is not your boyfriend's car. He joked too much. I know, right? <sighs> All right, let's Come on, let's, let's go. go.
excited. I am excited. Who is that cute fellow out there, girl? You didn't tell me you have left. Her. You have decided to leave Nathaniel. You're not serious. That's just the guy Nathaniel told his car to. He just offered to give me a ride, and that's all. A ride? Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's it. You allowed the cute guy to go. <laughs> girl, I don't trust you. Uh -uh. I don't trust you. You know what I think? What? You need a job in your life mm -hmm. because this joblessness mm -hmm. is giving you too much time to indulge in unnecessary things. Well, I don't have time for your big, big oibo. My sister, you must give me this just today. Not just today. You must give me this there just today. No Do not even there play no with me, girl. Don't play. Do not play with me. Tell me the gist. Your occultic mystery is that mystery that an ordinary mortal can never understand, no matter how hard they try. <laughs> Whatever I have caged is caged. There is nothing anyone can do about it. The fire will always burn what is inside the pot. But the pot itself, the fire will not burn it. A true apostle will always experience the Pentecost. Even if your shadow leaves you in the dark, I would never leave you sad. Even if hey, 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 hey. What? That guy yesterday, he is here. Oh the God. one that dropped you off. Yes. <laughs> what is he doing here? He, he's here to see you. Something tells me this guy is stalking me. I beg, I'm a day. Please just help me find a way to send him away. See, as for me, I know the good kind of message. I will not tell him that. You go tell him yourself. Sophie, don't try anything stupid. Though. Don't. That's him. That is when you can do around. Hey, come, 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 Hey. My name is Daniel. I am here to see Julie. I, 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 I. Yeah, I know your face. The thing is, Julie is not at home, um, but as soon as she's back, I'll, I'll, I'll let her know you stopped by. Can I possibly wait for her, or is she not coming home? Oh uh, no, no, no! The thing is, uh, she's not coming. She's not coming back anytime soon. Like I said, once once she's back, I will let her know that you stopped by. Very well then. Okay. It's I okay. I, uh, it's okay. Oh. It's okay. I'll be on my way. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sure. Take care. My name is Sophia, actually. Okay, Sophia. Yeah, Sophia. It's all right. Yeah. I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Damn! This guy is fine! What is wrong with my friend? Has she lost it? What a fine young man. Tall. Huh. My spec. Julie! Someone is here to see you. Hi, pretty one. Sorry, I am here to take you to work. Oh, isn't he a perfect gentleman? I can find my way to work. You don't have to bother yourself about it. I know you can find your way to work, but trust me, I love to do this. Come on! The young man wants to drop you. You have to go with him. Do not let his efforts to go in vain. And make sure you say thank you. Mm-hmm.
don't know this your new format. Okay? But whatever tactic you bring will not work. I just want to be left alone. Uh, listen, Julie. I mean no harm. I just want to be close to you. That's all. I, I, I want you to give me a chance to love you. Please. Stop fighting it. There is no it to even fight. Why can't you just get it? You know what? Just drop me at the next junction. But you're not at your workplace yet. I can find my way. Oh, okay, okay, please. Just calm down and relax, okay? I know you don't want me around. Yes, I know. But I, I can't help it. I'm attracted to you. That, that, that's just it. And that is why I'm still sticking around. Are you still having issues with your girlfriend? Yes. As a matter of fact, I think that relationship is over. Any woman who chooses to go diabolic is not for me. <laughs> Now, let me be sincere with you. You are sick in the head. What? Why would you say that to me? What have I done? Look, whatever she did that is making you behave this stupid is not wrong in any way. I mean, this is something other guys will even appreciate. At least they have someone that is watching their back. And you're here lamenting. Well, I am not other people. I'm not other guys. Let no one watch my back diabolically. Okorundo. She didn't even consult me before going wherever she went to do whatever it is that she did on my behalf. That girl meant well for you. So I will advise you. I will advise you to reconsider your decision. A woman like her, who will take it upon herself to solve a problem that is particularly her man, is ready to find. Uh, Okorundo, please, this is not why I invited you here. Um, I called you out so that we can talk because I believe that you're a good friend that you can help me. Please, I need help. I need you to loan me some money so that I, at least I can get, even if it's keke, you know, something that can put food on my table. Yes, you know, let me get a tricycle that takes you know, I'll use the tricycle to move people from point A to point B. And that way I can make some money daily. I can't keep sitting at home and waiting for one big contract that never comes. Nathaniel, I've told you before, and I'm saying it again. You're a guy who has seen money. Touched money. My brother, you're already wired into the arena of the opulence. Riding a KK, even when it belongs to you, cannot sustain you. Okorundu. I don't understand now. Eh? All this your big English will not help me. What is opulence? What is why are we talking about my past glory? I need to feed. I need to I need to feed. I need to be productive. Don't you understand? I'm not gonna keep Oga, please. Please, if you are gonna help me, help me. All you've done since we got here is just scold. Order something for me to drink or eat. No, you're just scolding me. I don't like it. I didn't call you out here for you to really call me. If you can help me, help me. I need something that I can do every day to put food on my table. Eh? Who big English help? All right. See, what I'm about to tell you now is something I've actually given a thought before. I'm just telling you now. I've, I've actually thought of that about this. I will lend you some money. That will be enough for you to buy a small car that you can use for a taxi. Because I can... I can't watch you ride again. Thank you. If the money is enough to get a small car, I'll get a small car. You know, I'll do cab business, you know. Uh, and I'll see where I go from there. Thank you. And when things begin to look up for me, I, I promise to pay you back, okay? It's all right. And, and then one more thing, one more thing, please. Tell them to bring food. I'm hungry. Huh? Call them now. You're, you're always hungry. Huh? Eh? I better come. Ah, it's your problem. It's all right. So tell me, how do you see Daniel? Mm? I don't see anything in that guy. 
It's just a pest. Come off it. Ah. How will you see him as a pest? Listen, that guy is so romantic. Oh my goodness. If I were you, I would jump on him before he even asked me. Well, just... thank God I'm not you. Whatever. Come on. He's actually a nice guy. I think you should give him a try. You know, get to know him or something. Hmm? Sophie. Yes, my love. Can you just keep your thoughts to yourself? Because I will not do your wish. Okay? You're just impossible. I know. Wow! Don't kill yourself. <laughs> Don't kill yourself. Oh, go drop. <laughs> Let me know. What is it? Are you what? Daniel's sister yes, or something? Yes, Ah ah! Come, this guy, I'm suspecting you. He has given you money. He has given you plenty of money. What kind of, what kind of friend is this? Can't you just leave me and let me breathe? Wow, Kachi. Yeah, bro. Good to see you again. <laughs> Same here. How are you doing? Alright, brother. You're looking good. Uh, uh, sorry, I saw some bodyguards at the car park when I drove in. I guess they are with you. Mm -hmm. Those are my boys. You know, I must have to make my entrance announced anywhere I go. That's, that's lovely. You're a big shark now. People like us are supposed to queue up here to get every morning for our daily manner. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Okurundo, the business master strategist. I mean, you're not doing badly for yourself. You're doing real good. Thank you. Well, if that is your first mark for me, I believe you. Though that's a compliment I never saw coming. You have the compliment already. <laughs> Thank you, no, thank you. Thank yeah, you. you see, there is this project I want to do. And I needed a friend, I mean, someone I could trust. And I thought of you. Even though we've not spoken for a very long time. But I think you're the right person to handle it for me. Well, you know I'm always here. As far as cash is involved. I'm always at a service. I know, I know. <laughs> I've always known you as a focused person, right? That's why I want to bring you in. My boys are already handling some of the projects, but I want you in this one because soon I'll be leaving overseas. You know, I hardly stay, I seldom stay here, you know, uh, because I find more peace there than here. You're absolutely right. Boys like us wish to be like you someday. <laughs> no, it's not yeah, yeah. <laughs> that joke, please. Well, it's a five-star hotel. Yeah, and I want you to handle everything about it. Wow, that's a huge one. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. I really appreciate You're it. Welcome. You'll be working with an engineer, okay? Yours is to supply every building material he needs, everything he needs to supply from the beginning to the end. I want quality, nothing less than that. Quality is my surname. Trust me, I'll do a good job. That's fine. <laughs> uh, um, um, Sake, yeah. I'm sorry to bring this up to you. Have you seen your friend Nathaniel lately? Yeah, I've seen him. I saw him some months ago, but he doesn't know I'm around. Sake, your guy is dread. That guy is dread. Like, he really needs help. Please, just, can you help him? Why, why, why am I even, I, I know you can help him. If you want, if you really want, you can help him. Please, please. You see, I am not unaware of uh, Nathaniel's condition and situation. And you also know that I am not as wicked as not to help my friend. I have helped that guy. But you see, I gave him money from time to time. But he couldn't manage himself as well. Yes. So something's wrong with him. But, but, what do you think might be the problem? 
have you thought of like something spiritual? I, I mean, I mean, could it be he's suffering from some spiritual no, no, problem? No, don't go there, don't go there. That guy lacks focus. Yes, he's not serious. I gave him money from time to time countlessly and he couldn't make anything out of it. Well, I think that's not the reason I called you here, okay? Let's not talk about him. Please. <sighs> Okoro, thanks for calling back. I have been trying to reach you all day. Called a couple of times, you did not take my call. Oh, Kachi is in the country? Nah, I doubt it. I mean, he's, he's done that a couple of times before for me and nothing really came out of it. But okay, I mean, if you insist, I'll try again this time and see and see what happens. Okay? Sure, I'll let you know. Thank you. Oh, Kachi is in town. All right. I am sure, very sure, that Okorondo has informed him that I am around. I am not going to pick this call because I do not intend to see him. I have no money to waste on him again. He has to be focused. He is not focused. For my friend, me, you packed outside. Yes. Anyway, she knows I'm here, but she doesn't want to see me. She's upset that I came, okay? So I just want her to calm down. Maybe I'll go back in and talk to her. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Okay, um, here's what's going to happen. I'll go in there, try to talk to her to come see you. At least try to persuade her. Is that okay? Oh, thank you so much. Okay. I'll be so glad if you actually help me. It's okay. You're welcome. All right. It's okay. Someone got a gift. Hold this, hold, just hold it. 
Ah. Ah. <laughs> this is for you, my precious germ. Please grant me the honor to take you out for dinner. Ah! For dinner tonight. And if you don't like my company, I promise never to disturb you. Okay, girl. <laughs> that must be Daniel. Of course. Mm -hmm. Who else would it be? Girl. Ah, this guy is romantic. Trust me. I feel like falling in love with him. <laughs> Unlike that, you look cold, cheap, broke, dull, fine man. Oh. Mm. When you were eating his money with me, you didn't know he was broke and local. I get I mean, them before no be property. Whatever. Anyways, I don't blame you. Hmm? Tell me, how can a man who is going through hard times be romantic? <sighs> look, I know what the tenor is going through right now, okay? And no matter how hard you try, no matter what you say, I will never hold all this against him. You're always making excuses for him. You know, one day you're going to put on a bulletproof to take a bullet for this man. Well, whatever. <coughs> I am going to look for a good spot in your room to fix these flowers. Knock yourself out. And then yes. I will look for something befitting for dinner. For you to wear something nice for who you to wear yes no. to wear oh, i'm sure you understand english you were not deaf when i was reading what was written on, on this letter i don't care i'm not going to wear anything oh. <sighs> babe come on give this guy a break i mean he means well all right, fine. One try. Hmm? Please. Are you sure she's coming? Yeah, just calm down. She'll be out in a jiffy. <sighs> okay. Oh, yeah, she is. Hmm. Wow. Hey. Wow. You're looking so gorgeous, mm. like the morning sunshine. Mm. Thank you. Wow. Have fun. Shall we? Yeah, sure. Okay, bye. See you Have fun. Bye. Hey, hey, genge, genge. <laughs> ah, ah. Morning sunshine. What a line. This guy, how you get lies? You get lies, correct guy. <laughs> Jolie, I like you so much. I don't know what you're going through, but I just want you to give us a chance. I have a man in my life. <clears throat> We're just going through a phase right now, but it will end soon. You are only in a relationship with him. Not married to him. Why don't you give us a chance? Then I will leave you to choose whoever makes you happy. Are you saying I should date two men? No. That is not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is you should leave him for me. Allow me to treat you like a queen that you are. I have everything that will make a woman like you happy. I just need you to complete me. That's all. Daniel, so you're this selfish? You want me to hurt another man just to make you happy? Julie, is it not what life is all about? I go for what I want. I don't give a damn about the obstacle. And in this case, it is you I want. I 
I belong to another. A man here. Hey, 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 Julie. Julie, come on. Julie. Even if the whole world turns against you, I will be right by your side. Don't wait in. I'm so sorry for having done all night. You don't have to be sorry. You were just expressing your feelings. It's just. Your feelings don't matter to me. I can't do this with you. Please don't come looking for me again. Julie, please. At least think about it. There please. Nothing. To think about it Nothing. If you come looking for me again, I'll be forced to brief my state security. Julie. Come take me out of here. Come take me out of here. It's okay, it's fine. It's fine. Last night. Nothing happened. You went on a date last night. You came back not looking happy. So I ask, what happened? So if I shouldn't have listened to you, for goodness sake, connecting with this guy is, is extremely difficult. I have decided that even if I have to go out with another guy, I need to speak with Nathaniel first. Oh, yes, I need to know if it's the right thing to do. I need to be sure if we're still going to work this thing out or if he's done. Where did I pick you from? Why are you so dumb? Why? Sophie, you know I'm not dumb. I'm just... Forget it. You just want to understand. For obvious reasons. Really? Eh? Ha! No vex, so. No vex. Let me open my mouth, talk. But let my dear. She's your wife. <laughs> She's your wife. <laughs> That's not your problem. You're just making me a happy man. I know. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is this? I would have run into you now. You're a thief, Grandma. You thief my car. You be thief. What is this now? How can you just drive like this? I could have run into you if I didn't slam my brakes. Okay, you thief my moto, and you still here and speak English. Which no moto? problem. No, you you go you who understand. Is, who is this? Grandma. Are you mad? My own car. My friend, will you take this out of this place? Okay, you know they get anywhere. Then you thief my moto, and you still here and speak. English. 
Hello? Will you get your hands off me? I don't catch, I don't catch that guy. Where home I got? I bet make him come near, near that junction where they near police station. This is because I don't, I don't hear with her. You know they get anywhere. Oh God, I don't catch you. Where you? This is a madman. Are you a madman? You're, oh, you see, I'm speaking drama. If I be you, you go lie down for here. They roll for ground because you know not the kind of trouble they enter today. Which stupid trouble? This is my car. Are you, you mad? You don't speak drama. You don't get your hands off. You go, you go spend that for police hey, station. Be, behave yourself. Don't worry now. Behave yourself. Me, if you not kill me, I go kill you. Behave yourself. Me and you. We we'll remove this thing from this. You don't get away. This thing, you stay speak. You go speak that for police station. Ah, what don't is this? Day. You go speak that grammar for police station. Now me and you. What today. is this? Oh, wait till the holy people. What kind of harassment is this? You don't see him now. Now me and you today. You go see him. Hello? Who is this again? Oh, it's not wrong. That's it. Hello? Yes, yes, I'm the one. Please, who am I into? What? A police station? What for? Why? What for? Oh my God. All right, all right. Thank you. Thank you very much. I will, I will be there very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Why was Natalia arrested? He has bought the taxi now and has started walking. God, why can't they just allow this guy to have a breathing space? Huh? What is going on? I really don't know why Nathaniel is misunderstanding this whole thing. All I did was in quest for solution. I did not do it to hurt him. You see, to tell you the truth, I am very proud of you. Yes. I know you're surprised. You're surprised hearing this from me, but I'm serious. You are the kind of woman every man would love to have. You wanted progress for your man. That was why you took those steps. Unlike most women out there, all they do is just to come and spend the money and go. And whenever the money is no more there, or maybe whenever there is a problem on ground, you see them switching to the next available man. But you are different. And I want to promise you one thing. You are not going to lose him. I won't let that happen. <clears throat> okay. I just need him to talk to me. Let him tell me if he still wants this relationship or not. I won't force him. If he asks me to go, I will just accept my fate. But this silence is killing me. Because right now, I don't know where I stand. To be honest with you, there is no woman anywhere. If that is what you're thinking. You see, Nathan is in a very bad shape right now. All he needs from you is more time. Things are not getting better. Yes. So if you still love him, if you know you still love Nathan, all you need to do now is pray for him. I believe he will surely come around. I Please. pray for him always, and he knows that. Look, I don't know when all this is going to end, but it's really affected my sanity. It is. My dear, you also need to take it easy on yourself. You both cannot be down same time. It's not really here, do you know? I want you to know that I am with him. Step after step, we are going to find a solution to this problem. And you guys will be back together. I promise you that. Thank you. Please. Thank you so much. You're welcome.
Only God saved you in this case. Huh? Thank God these people were ready to settle out of court. I gave you money to buy a direct foreign used vehicle and you bought a Nigerian used. Why would you buy a Nigerian used vehicle? That is because, Okoro, I didn't want to come back to you asking for more money. The two million naira you gave to me was not enough to buy a decent car. All right? Things have gone up. So I, I used the money you gave to me to, to get what I could, I, I, I could get. And I put the vehicle on the road and what happened, happened. Guy, nobody would have believed your story. Anyone who did not know you would say you stole that car. Yes! That man had so much evidence against you. Well, thank God they did not use that car to commit any crime before selling it to you. If not, you would have been in a very serious trouble by now. Mark my words. Okorondo, what is happening to me? What is going on? Why? Why? Why is life this? Hard. What is going on? And you know, this thing started after I, I, I did that business deal that didn't go through. I lost money. And it's just been a downward. What is happening to me? You see, since you do not believe in traditional stuff, like your woman suggested, I will advise you to just take a break. Quit trying another thing for now and concentrate on the contract. Yes. You are well experienced in that field. You're a guru in that field, my brother. Okoro, contract requires a lot of capital. It's capital intensive. I don't have that kind of money. I don't have the money. What do you want me to do? <sighs> See, my brother, if you ask me, I will advise you to bring back Julie. Uh, please, 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 please. What I need is, is to get back on my feet as a man. What I don't need right now is a woman. Now, Daniel, please don't just be unnecessarily stubborn. Bring back Julie. Okay. You need a woman by your side, especially in this kind of situation. Do you understand me? As a that girl has, has been striving, pushing to see that you people come back together. I was the one who told her to give you some time. And here you are. What is your problem? What is your problem? Are you not even watching anymore? Take it. What's that? Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Why are you giving me a list? Please, Julie. I don't want you to spoil things for me in this house. Now that Daniel is taking you for shopping, just do the needful. I beg. <laughs> Sophie, what kind of a human being are you? Hmm. I have not even accepted to go out with this guy yet. Hmm? And you're already giving me a list hmm? of things I should buy you. My sister, I'm the kind of human being that doesn't pretend. You know I'm very real. Look at you. Don't come to this house empty-handed though. I've given you this list because if I don't give you this list, you will go there and say you don't want to pick anything. He's taking you for shopping. So just buy the things I wrote inside that paper. I don't want to hear story. Because... You know what? I think you should just go out with them with yourself. Yes! Uh -uh. You should, okay? Because me, I'm not going anywhere. You are the biggest joke of the century. My sister, you must go for it. It's a must. <laughs> what is this? Sophie! Oh. Why don't you just date this guy yourself? Uh -uh. Date him since you like him so much. My sister, he did not come for me. As a mean he came for me. Well, lie! Well, lie to lie! Guy! One time. Oh, Which one? I get men. Girl, you, you look down. You they look me less less. I get men. Men, they my corner, my side. Stop playing. Bring those things. No, babe, I'm serious. I've been this thing up. Oh, no, she did very important. I put slippers, handbags. Ah! You know that handbag I told you about in that shop? Please pick it. Yeah, That's why I put it number one. See, I'm handbag. Yeah, yeah, oh. <laughs> hey. mm. ah, I can't wait. I can't wait for my one things day, to come. You will chop this thing, but it's like me. You. Me. You. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. You're a thief. You idiot. I'm serious. But it's not so much now. Shoes, handbags, wedges, <laughs> shirts, polos, slippers. Seeing her with a man does not in any way justify she's cheating. Okoro, it's not about seeing her with a man. It's how I saw them. It's how I saw both of them. Seeing them the way I, I, I saw them signifies something. It says something. All right. I don't really know what to say there. But I am determined to help you. I'll be traveling in a few weeks. I have a contract to supply building materials for a new renovated army headquarters. I am going to share it with you. You're still willing to help me? Yes, ma'am. Yes. But if this fails again, then we're left with no option than to consider what your girl suggested earlier. Looking into your case spiritually. Uh, I understand what you're saying, but you see... Uh... Nav, there is no but. We are going to handle your case with caution. I have told you that before. All you need to do is believe. Please. No, I just have hope for payment for, for one contract I did. You know, they've, they've asked me to, to file in the papers uh, in two weeks. Yeah? I, I hope that the payment comes through. If it comes through, then at least I can have some money in my hands. I, I know what to exactly to do with my life. Nathaniel, I believe everything is going to be all right. All you have to do for me is believe. Have that faith. That's all I need from you. Please. You see, they don't normally work today. That's why you're not seeing anybody here. I actually asked the engineer to come meet me here. I don't know why he's not here yet. So, was that the project you want me to handle? No, not at all. I just wanted to have a, an idea of the kind of things I do. You know, I deal on class, like I told you, right? I actually want us to go to the new site with the engineer, but the idiot is not here. See, how oh, these people, they can be very stupid. But I must tell you, I'm really impressed. Of course. Why wouldn't you be? Do you expect anything less? I deal on class. Kachi is for class. Get on the car, let's go to the site. <laughs> Dude, you're so powerful. Uh, anything about Kachi is class. You see, we are saying that you are the bomb. K is for class. Stop playing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know what's going on in my life now. And I cannot just explain it The whole thing is just like magic Just in the twinkle of an eye Everything turned upside down What is happening to me? Someone talk to me Because I'm losing it yeah. What is happening? The world is crumbling if you ask me, I'll say you should give her some sweets. Let her, let her realize you more. If you keep coming around, she will, she'll keep rejecting. You're asking me to give up. Come on, you of all people should not be asking me to just give up like that. No. I Listen. My friend is in a sorry state. She's not in the right frame of mind. If you, I mean, if you make her miss your presence, she will, maybe she will realize that she has feelings for you. But if you keep coming around, <laughs> she will never realize it. I, I hope you understand what I mean. I think you have a point there. 
But I still think I should be coming around. You know, well, yeah? Maybe one day she will just realize herself and change her mind. There is no point. I mean, there is no point getting yourself hurt. This is my candid advice to you, like a sister to a brother. But you can do what you want to do. You can do you. If you want to continue, then fine. But if you listen to me, you, you, you might be glad. I'm glad you finally told him the truth instead of just keep deceiving him that you can make me change my mind. Sweetheart, let's look at this carefully. You know, maybe God brought this guy to your life for a reason. I mean, think about it. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm And how are you sure that he was sent by God and not the devil? Sophie, please. I have enough problems in my life right now. I cannot add them. It was obviously a non-issue. Sweetie, are, are you sure you don't want to think about this? Hmm? Think about it. Hmm? Just explain it. Can't explain the whole thing. And today, today my payday, huh? What am I going to do? This, 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 this right here, this right here is the document for verification. This. Without you, this document, I can't get paid. This is strange. What is going on in my house? What is this? Nathan, what happened? You kept me waiting for so long. What's going on? There's no point. There is no point going to the office. There's, 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 there's no point. There's no point. I don't know what you people want me to do again in this town. I don't know what they want. I don't know if they want me to go crazy. I don't know what they want me to do. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Never you're confusing me. I was waiting for you to bring the judgment. And here you are. What are you lamenting for? The documents are gone. They're all gone. Forces struggled on me, wiped off the document. Clearly, before my eyes, the documents are gone. All gone. Nathan, you're not making any sense. What, what forces are you talking about? How did the document get white? Did you hear yourself? Forces, forces stronger than me. Why? Oh, come on, stop this. You will not understand. You know what? I've been calling Kachi. He's not picking my calls. Can, can you please tell him to take my call? Okay, I know that if I see him, if I see him, he can help me. I will take you to see that. But first, what forces are you talking about? By the way, how did the document get white? I, 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 I don't. What, kind of, what are you saying? Come on. Can I see Kachi? Please. Kachi, thank you for calling. You see, I brought him here because I believe if you see him in his present condition, 
you will pity him. Believe me, I have really tried myself. But as it stands now, you have a better base than us. Please, help him out. Please, Kachi. I have suffered. I don't know what is going on with me. The business deals are no longer coming through. You know, all my partners. You know, I'm a contractor. You know how life used to be with me. I, I don't know what is going on. But if I can get some financial help from you so that I can set up a business, I'm sure that I can bounce back and I'll pay you back. Please. No. You see, why won't I help you? I will help you. After all, you've helped me in the past. But like you said, I don't know what is wrong with you. I think you're losing focus. Yes. I'm sure you lost focus the moment you lost your business. But be that as it may, I want you to go home, take a pen and paper, and write down everything you need to make this business. Whatever you need to bounce back. Get it to me, I will fund it. Kachi, you did this for me. Hi. Kachi, thank you. Kachi, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. This means a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kachi. You see, I'm relieved now. I'm so relieved. At least I can I can sleep with my two eyes closed. My brother, what are friends for? I mean, this is God's money. And the reason God blessed people like us is to help those who are less privileged. You can imagine how many people I pay their school fees and I don't even know who they are. So why won't I help my friend? But this, 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 this time around, we will not leave him. You and I will put an eye on him and guide him so he doesn't make mistakes anymore. Because I don't know what's wrong with him now. Hmm? Okay. You'll be fine, don't worry. Huh? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey. 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 I'll let him fund it. This time I'll let him fund it himself. I'll not take money from him, I'll just let him fund it by himself. Yes, I think it's safer that way. Hello, sir. Hello. Yes, my name is Nathaniel Echezona. The young man. Yes. Yes, I am calling um, as regards what we talked about. You, you promised me that, in spite of the fact that I, I, I misplaced my, my documents, that um, it would not hinder my payment. Yes, that is what you said, sir. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Please, uh, one more thing, sir, please. Can I have a clearer understanding um, as to when this payment is likely to be made? Thank you. I do not wish to deliberate further on this issue. You know what is at stake. That young man has a star that can outshine the moon. Associating with him requires a process. That is why I'm here. Okurumi never told me he was coming with him. 
In fact, I never wanted to meet him face to face. But you see, they took me unawares. So I made the promise. What should I do now? Should I go ahead and fulfill the promise? Or should I technically delay him until he gets tired? You are already with the title of former for Simaromo. Do you have a problem with that? Because I'm already working on becoming the owner of the whole of Africa. <laughs> I don't have a problem with your show of exuberance. You're already seeing yourself as the owner, but note that young man has a star that can outshine the moon. I don't want to speak further on this. The discretion is yours. So, what are you saying? Are you suggesting that I go and kill him outrightly? Sure, you had when I said the discretion is yours. Hi, babe. Babe. Jesus. The anti malaria did not work. I'm in so much pain. I feel like I'm going to drop dead any minute now. Just relax, relax. What should I do now? Who should I call? Hold on, I need to call someone. You need, you need medical attention. to my calls and lending a helping hand. Uh, it's fine. I, I'm actually glad that you reached out to me. I trust she'll be okay very soon. Yes, she's responding to treatment. I mean, I thought she'll be admitted, but it's okay. It's fine. And please, um, do take good care of her, okay? I will. And whenever anything comes up, don't hesitate to call me. I'll call you. Good. If you need anything, just call me. You're such a nice man. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It's all right. I'll be on my own, okay? All right. It's fine. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, bye. I don't know if it's the drugs, but mm. I woke up starving. Mm. I mean, you haven't eaten in the last 24 hours, so you need food <laughs> in your system to gather enough strength. Abby? Mm-hmm. Babes, mm. thank you. If not for you, eh, maybe I would have died by now. Oh, forbid. Honestly, you scared me. Oh. But if there's anyone you should be thanking, that should be Daniel. I mean, immediately I called him. He just came through like bandit and dang. He really tried, and he cleared the bills. That guy is amazing, I beg. You shouldn't have called him. Yeah. You are your pride. What is your problem? What is, what exactly is your problem? No, tell me. My friend, would you prefer a guy taking care of you, or you taking care of a guy? Huh? I mean, monkey they walk. Babu de chop. Sophie, I appreciate Daniel. Okay? I appreciate everything he does for me. But, girl, I don't feel anything for this guy. So, how can I keep accepting favors from him when I know that there's no way on earth I will ever 
reciprocate his love. It's selfish. Why don't you just go with the flow? I mean, you will find yourself reciprocating his feelings. You know what, I don't want to talk too much. Just eat your food, take your drugs. Daniel is coming to take you to the hospital because I have somewhere to go to. I eh? have done my makeup already. Madam, dress up, eat, mm -hmm. take your drugs. He's coming to take you to the hospital. No, I beg. I'll find my way. I'll see you later. Why do you have to call him? Baby, why didn't you wait for me to take you to the hospital? I was here earlier and I noticed the door was locked. I went to the hospital and the doctor said you just left. I didn't want to stress you. Am I complaining? And who said I'm stressed? Listen, I don't think you're strong enough yet. I mean to be jumping taxis here and there. That is why I offered to come take you to the hospital. At least till you, you're done with your treatment. Daniel. Look, I know you're trying to help. Okay. Okay. And I appreciate you. For real, I do. But can't you see that all of this is not working for me? I cannot keep accepting favors from you when I know that I cannot grant you your wish. But you can. You can. You're just the one fighting it. I can't. I can't. It's fine, okay? It's fine. Please, do not push me away. Let me just stick around as your friend. Who knows, maybe one day you will decide to change your mind. I doubt I'll ever change my mind about you. Ready? Yes, I, I will see you around, okay? Hey, hold on. It seems you're in a hurry. Are you okay? I'm sorry I couldn't follow you both to the hospital. I mean, I know how stressful it is for you. Uh, it's fine. Actually, I was not the one that took her to the hospital. Really? Yes, as a matter of fact, she went by herself. But it's fine. I, I will see you I, around, I understand. Okay? It's okay. All right. It's Bye. Fine. Bye. What is wrong with this girl? Huh? Why is she so stubborn? She must love Nathaniel a great deal. Julie! Julie! What is wrong with this girl? Julie! this. Okoro, I have looked at this thing. Look at it now. I have, I have checked it. I have looked at it from all angles. It is, one thing is clear. There's a force behind this thing. And that force is determined to destroy me and make sure I don't have money. How do you explain this? How? It's time you agree with me that there is something spiritually wrong with you. And you had better seek solution to that fast before it ruins you. Because I still can't understand this story surrounding the 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 the, the, the papers, the white papers. 
in a sealed briefcase now, in a sealed briefcase under lock by some strange water. This is something I'm still yet to fathom. Strange. I regret fighting her, Wakana. Hmm. I regret fighting her. So the same thing that she said that I was fighting her, and look at it now. You will agree with me that she's right. This problem is spiritual. And instead of working with her, I said it to I, I should have just listened. I warned you. But you wouldn't listen. That girl was and is still willing to stand by you despite how bad the situation has turned. But what did you do? Pushed her away. Now you see. You see. I need help. I need help. What can I do? I know where you can get solution to the problem, Nas. Now, do you still remember? What your girl said, she was told at the place she visited? Something like I should get around, they have to perform a sacrifice, you know, to my ancestors, something like that. Right. Could that be the solution? That's what Ekunife told me. I can still remember her instructions. You see, Nathaniel told me that his friend went to see a seer called Ebibemma. Now, if Ekunife is telling you that Kachi did not deliver the message properly, then obviously that message must be the same message from Ebibemma. That's exactly what I was trying to explain to Netanya, but he would just not listen to me. I know the man called Ebibemma. He is a very powerful seer. I suggest that you take Nathaniel to this man. I don't know if he will agree to go with you, but at this point, he needs to listen to the man himself. Nathaniel is in trouble. He needs help. You see, his worst mistake was ever not listening to you. Uh, As, as it stands now, he has no choice. He has no choice than to abide by anything that comes his way. I will pull him, make sure he goes with me. And I'm promising you to please just calm down. I'm going to guide him well. But you know I didn't leave him. I didn't. Yeah, of course, I know he pushed you away. Yes, he did. He did, but... I miss him so much. I keep, I keep hoping that one day he will realize that all I was trying to do was for his own good. My prayers have been that he gets back on his feet. We are waiting for that miracle to happen. Things will surely turn around. You see, one thing I believe he hasn't realized is that he is very lucky to still have you waiting for him. After all this while, you're a very strong man, obviously. But I still want to promise you one thing. I believe everything is going to be all right. Keep up that faith. Keep the hope. I will take care of him. I will make sure that things works out. Please. Thank you. Bless you. Your problems would have been avoided. 
You come from a family where the ancestors gave you a bright star. All he needed to do was to offer a ram to them and plead them to go with you. I didn't mean you did that. The whole corpse would not have have the power to take your stars away from you. You talk to me as if you have said this to me before and I refused to do what you asked me to do. I'm just hearing this for the first time. Nobody told me anything. Is this not the message I gave for you? A young man came here some time ago and I told him to tell his friend to offer a sacrifice of ram to his ancestors. That, that his friend is a great man that has a great destiny. And looking at you, I am seeing the person I send him to. Why did you not do it? Like I said to you before, no one said anything to me about making sacrifices. They came to me with a message, but they told me something very different from what you're telling me now. The hearts of men, full of evil. Come, look at this. You have seen it yourself. Kashi is the cause of your problems. But the root is your inability to connect with the spirit of your fathers. Now you see why he has been avoiding me. Hmm. Please, Papa Man. What is the solution to this problem? We need solution. This young man here has been through a lot. Please, solution. Only one solution. I have said it before. And I am going to repeat it again. You need to offer a sacrifice of Ram to the spirit of your fathers. That should be done in your father's compound. Whereby you cannot do that, dear. Bring the sand from your father's compound to any place you wish to stay and do it. Do it with faith. Ask the spirit of your fathers to come with you. And you will discover that the religion of your fathers is superior to the occult and all of their manipulations they brought with them. You told me that I need to locate a friend of mine with a bright star. 
that I can hijack. I have discovered that Nathaniel, my friend, has a gift of star from his father. He's destined to be the billionaire in their family. I want to hijack that star. I want to be a billionaire. You have already sacrificed all that you were asked to sacrifice. Now you have mentioned a name that will transform your life to a better life. So they say. In fact, the seer said that he will be so rich that building five-star hotels will be nothing to him. I am going to transfer everything to you. He is one of those men who believe life is free. That nothing controls the physical. From this very temple, I am going to cripple his finances. From this very temple, I am going to mystically transfer and transport the totality of him to you. I am going to send him out of business and give you his star. Exactly how I want it. That is exactly what I want. Okay, Bluzi, you can wear it. Can feel the weight. So much money coming to you. Has fault. Whatever good coming to him. He will wallow in mystery. He will cry. No one will listen. And you, you will move from growth to growth. <laughs> but what if something happens to him? Nothing. Whatsoever Okogali has caged. No one can do anything to it. Nobody can harm him. He will remain that spiritual world ticket to you until you are tired of money. <laughs> will I ever be tired? They go to the Jafa. wait. Oh, what is it? This is here from Don. Follow the Don. Hey, what you want? Oh, boom. Oh, boom. What is going on with me? What just happened? What is going on with you? 
to find you is a, is a challenge. Eh? You've just been, you know, you've been all over the place. To even get in touch with you has been a, a, a problem. I can't reach you. What, what's going on? My brother, don't mind me. You see, I've been pursuing this project up and down. Honestly, it's been giving me so much stress. So what's up? I mean, you're not looking good. What's going on? That is because life is not good, my brother. You know, I'm going through a lot. Initially, I thought I was just having a small business setback, but the setback is taking longer than necessary. You know? Mm. Yes. Have you considered seeking counseling from financial experts? Kachi, where have I? What have I not done? Eh? I have spoken to financial experts. I have gone to banks to take loans. I have borrowed money from, from friends. I have done everything that you can think of in the book. Right now, I'm even owing a lot of people. And I don't even have collateral to go to the bank and take money. All the monies that I got in the past, you know, sank deep down the business. It, you know, you're putting money thinking that business will get better. They said it's getting worse. Listen, bro, you need to calm down, okay? You need to calm down. See, um, maybe it's a bad business period for you. See, you know, every day is not Christmas. This is happening. It's happening right there. Yeah. Uh, listen, I, I don't know what to say. But I just want you to know that I don't know when this is going to end. I know every day is not Christmas. But when is my own Christmas going to come? This is getting too serious. Huh? My yeah, brother, everybody's carrying their cross. See, right now, I cannot do anything for you as much as you Honestly, I forget that. You see, the fact that you don't even see me every day means things are so getting difficult by the day. You know, we manage, everybody's managing. You see, nobody's good. Nobody's just nobody comfortable just trying to, you know, make ends meet and all that. Like, I don't know how to explain these things to you, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to understand, but it's just that I was hoping that I can get some help from you. But it's okay. It's just so that you also know what your, your friend is going through. Unfortunately, unfortunately now, now, it's really a difficult time. It's really a difficult time. Hi, so there's nothing you can do for me? Hi. It is well. Uh, please, when we get to that uh, roundabout, um, um, drop me so that I can see if I can catch it. Yeah, I was supposed to have catch a bike. I was supposed to have turned. I'm just doing this because of you know you're my friend. I can just leave you here. So let me just get somewhere. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You get up from there. <laughs> catch it! Hey, is this you? That's me, boy. But I'm not surprised. You've always been enterprising and ambitious, so I mean, this growth is normal. Well, let's say kudos to you, because I learned all that from you. Oh, yeah. You've always been a friend, a mentor, and a boss. <laughs> not anymore. A lot has happened. Catch a lot has happened. You know, business went some type of way. And right now, I'm just in between jobs and looking for deals. You know, but see your new position, I can actually become your apprentice. Ah, uh, not even go there. It's not your person, brother. Okay. Now that I'm back, a whole lot of things will change. Yeah. Nothing will be the same anymore. I have been going through a lot. I am telling you, it's watching now. That's for you. Look inside. Ten thousand dollars. Cash what is this? Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. This is for me. Of course. I mean use it to boost your business and go back to business again. Yeah. yeah. Everything is fine. Now I'm back in school chain, okay? What is it? You don't understand. You don't understand what I have been through lately. You, you don't know. You don't know the half of it. Kachi, I have I have been through a lot. Kachi, your friend has been through a lot and you show up with this kind of help. Kachi, this is unforgettable, Kachi. This is this is what you call a friend and a brother. Thank you. Ha! Ah. It's okay. You don't have to.
cry. Okay? What are friends for? I mean, we are meant to show up for each other in moments like this. Yes. All I want is for you to go back to business. That's all that matters to me. And I promise to make you proud. I'll make use of this money in a very good way. And I'll pay you back. No, 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 no. Who's talking about reforms? No, all I want is for you to go back to business and become the Nathaniel you used to be. Yeah. Things went bad, right? <laughs> We're back for good. It is funny. Yeah. So relax, what about this? If you care for anything less for them, let's have fun and think Have I not lost my pittance? Excuse me. <laughs> ah, are no. you sure I can't take anything? Of course. What hey, just say it anything you want. Drink. Let me start with the drink first. Let me start with the drink. Have a brand? Ah, I know your brand. Bah! I believe you are enjoying your new statues as a man you have now become. Absolutely. Honestly, I don't want to go back to where I'm coming from. All I seek is to keep growing from one level to another. So shall it be. So shall it be. So shall it be. No member of this great temple lacks anything. Once every three months, you shall apply the black oil on a greedy girl. That greed is what lubricates your will of fortune. Well, I know the process. And I must tell you, I love the style. Apply the black oil on a greedy girl and she dies the next day. And I saw no member of this order is suspected. The masters consider the interests of the members before creating this very process. But you must be very careful by applying this black oil on a greedy girl. Be sure the person is a greedy girl, else she will ruin your will of fortune and you will be in great danger. Well, it's very easy to dictate those who are greedy. Oh yes, because no matter what you give them, they will be demanding for more. Those are the kind of girls I will sacrifice. One more thing. Avoid face-to-face -face confrontation with the man you hijacked his fortune. If you must stop with him, let it be a telephone conversation. And if you by any chance stumble on him, discharge him urgently. Well, that won't be a problem too, because very soon I'll be relocating to the Western world. That is where I want to make the kind of money I need to build the kind of things I want to build. You see, it's a problem. <laughs> no, no, no. Only great apostles experience the Pentecost.
Hey! <laughs> ha! Nathaniel Echezola. That days are over. That is the envelope I've given to him. That's ten thousand dollars I gave him so that he would stop disturbing me. Next time, if you must give him money, make it bank transfer. Don't give him fiscal cash, or you will be crowned. I love this money here. What is going on? I love this. <sighs> Did somebody come in? Somebody walk into this room. <coughs> I left this. I left this one here. I was sat down here. And I left this money here. What is going on in my house? Your money, take it. I am so surprised how you do these things. You are obedient to the masters. You are obedient to the rules. Keep being obedient to the rules and you will keep smiling. <sighs> Thank you for going in there. What are you talking about? Eh? I don't understand. Like, we're talking about $10,000 here. It's not a chicken change. This is what I'm saying. I don't, I don't know what happened. I'm telling you right there. I know I sound stupid. I know I, I, I sound confused. But actually, that money is gone. It's not here. It's not here. How do you mean the envelope was gone? How do you mean? Maybe someone sneaked into your room and made over the money. But nobody came in here. Nobody came in here. I'm here all by myself. Nobody came in here. Well, if that is the case, then it's a bigger problem. You need to be very prayerful because I don't understand this. This whole thing is also confusing. This whole thing is confusing. Huh? Well, I'm very sure the money is somewhere there. Yes, I'm optimistic it's somewhere there. Maybe you are too excited and you hit the money and now you can't find it. No, I came in here now. I came in here. I, I, I was holding the money for, for, 
for, for a bit and, and then I, I left it on the bed and, and then I, I went into the restroom to, to eat myself. I came out and the body was just gone. You know, Kachi, the body was gone. Kachi, the body was just gone. I, I, I don't know what happened. The body just disappeared like that. Kachi, the body is gone. Really? Well, um, nothing there. You know what? I have a flight to catch up. I'm going to talk right away. I'm heading to the airport. I'm talking to you. So maybe by the time I'm back, I trust you may have found the one. Something is wrong with me. Something is going on in my life. So something is going on. I can, I can feel it. I can, I can feel that something is wrong. I can feel it. Yeah, like I said, I have a flight to catch up. Okay, let me drive. I'm driving. As a matter of fact, I'm not even supposed to be taking this call. So I'm driving. Maybe when, when I when, we'll talk about this later. Okay. Hi. <sighs> Oh, I shouldn't have called him. He wasn't sounding very cop. What am I going to do? 10,000 US dollars. Just like that. Mm -mm. Something is wrong. What is happening in my life? I'm surprised with the information that you returned with the ram. What is going on? Uncle, the truth is that since the last time I came to see you, things have not been well. My life, my business, everything is just upside down and I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I want a solution. Then what is the problem? Have you tried to seek a solution to the problem? Or rather, I think I have to take you to a Dibiafa. It is not all about buying a ram. We need to do it right. It is only Dibiafa that can guide us right. So we need to consult one. I have gone to see a CIA in the name of Ibrahim Mawaji. He gave me options on what could be done. He also said that I should take sand from our soil and take it to the city for sacrifice. But I want to do it here. I want to do it here. I want, I want this, I want all of this happening to me to come to an end. Oh. Mm, my son. My son, it will end here. It will end right here. It will end, my son. This guy to love you. You said my friend. Wait, hold up. Okay, hold up, hold on. Why don't you just allow this guy to love you? Eh? What is it? Why are you why are you doing as if uh, Nat is your first love? Even if he is, even if he was, even if he were. Is it the first person? Oftentimes we don't end up with our first loves. And uh, you're not even sure if you guys are a perfect couple. Oh, yeah, I'm not even sure you guys are compatible. Look, Sophie, I have told you before. And I will say it again. I am not interested in discussing this topic. I don't want Daniel. Period. Okay, listen. I just want you to be happy. I'm even happy that Nathaniel has given you some space. Let him go and face his problems. Why you use your, your own time in a very good way? Move on with your life with this cute young man. Look at you. You look miserable. You deserve to be happy. Do you get my point? Hmm? So this is your advice, eh? Mm. I hear you. Thank you. Loud and clear. And I appreciate them. I love Lord you. Lord knows I appreciate it with all my heart. Oh, But guess what? What? I am not consenting to it. Don't follow me again. Okay. What is your problem? This guy wants to give you blood pressure and you're still sticking. The time will not placenta together. Is it with your kidney? No, you must listen to me. You have to listen to me. I am saying something important and you are all away from me. What else? I 
running late for work, please. I'll have to call you back when I... I'm a place, it's too early for this argument. Please, let me just call you back when I get back from work. Yes, yes, I will, I will. Uh -uh. What is even wrong with this girl, sir? She has called the call on me, as usual. Make a mass I call to call, Nancy. Eh? Just because I said she should settle down and get married. I hope she's still not with that lazy young man who is deceiving her and collecting her money. Eh? A man that has nothing to do. Very lazy man. Leave the man, you will not listen. Now you're cutting call as usual. Hey! Should I call her mother and tell her that Julie has met a decent man that wants to marry her? I mean, a man that is interested in her and she's still holding back because of that tunnel? Hmm. But honestly, what would the mother do? She can't possibly force Julie to, to marry a man she doesn't want. What exactly is wrong with my friend? What is wrong with Julie? Why are we ladies so stupid when it comes to love? Eh? How can she... How can she be holding on to the past? Can you love the past when the future is bright? A decent man has come for you and you're still holding on to na 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 ta. Is that a name of a dog or a name of a, an animal? What is that? Oh, this girl is dumb, honestly. What do I do now? Something tells me you have broken one of the rules. I have tried to find out which one of them, but I can't. That is why I have called you to know what you have done. I have not broken any rule. I can swear on my life. I have not broken any rule. From now, hands on. You must be very careful. You're scaring me. Already I'm, ex I'm experiencing some unexplainable setbacks. And here you are telling me this. We are supposed to operate without getting involved with any ancient power. But it seems you have gotten yourself involved with one. And now it has cost us. Ancient power. I, I have not gotten myself involved with any ancient power. Then what is this breeze coming with fire? Kachi, you have been a man that wants money and power. What have you done? I have not done anything. I can swear on my life that I have not done anything. I've never seen you this scared before. Ancient powers. Is that man the ancient power? You're scaring me. 
What's the meaning of ancient power? Get me another key. Get me another key! Hey, why are you calling for another room? Eh? What's the problem? Talk to me. It's for you. <sighs> See, you're not a greedy girl. And as such, you are of no use to me. Okay, so when they get the key, you take your things, pack all your things and go there and sleep. Okay, a lot of things are not going right and you don't need to be here. Okay? Okay, we're already leaving. No, no, wait, 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 let them, let them get the key. Okay? Let them get the key so you can, you can take it and go, and, go, and go somewhere else. No, no worries. I'll wait for them outside. Okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know you told me that Kachi wanted you to run some projects for him. How is that going? Yes, he did. But he didn't let her comply to that. <laughs> Typical. Yes. And with this new revolution at the man's place, mm. I don't think I want to have anything to do with that dude. I think you should stay away from him. Let's um, come and fight our battle. Yes, that's what I think. I know he can't get away from Kamala. But I want to start dealing with him my way <laughs> before Kamala arrives. Yes. Uh, anyway, while we wait for, for Kamala, I can tell you that it's been two weeks since the sacrifice was made and um, I like the air around me. There's something different. I must admit that I am beginning to enjoy the turnout of events. You know. What turnout are you talking about? Oh well, to start with, um, the kind of support I got from my brothers on the day was um, it was massive. You know, it was it was massive. They all came out in numbers. They stayed with me from morning till night. Can you believe that? Oh yes, as a matter of fact, one woman came, um, saw what was going on, and she ran back to her house and came with a very big cock. She put it down and said that that was her contribution to what we were doing. And they all came together and prayed that whatever spirit holding on to what belongs to me should let it go so that my star can blossom, so that I can shine. I felt good. I would not lie to you. I felt good. And since then, the energy around me has been, has been positive. That was a crack deal. I tell you. You see, a man as powerful as a baby man couldn't have deceived us. Mm. All you need to do, brother, you just sit back and watch things on food. Yes. I agree with you. And as I wait, the only thing on my mind is Julie. I think it is time to go sort things out with her. I was about mentioning that. It's, it's a good thing. See, Go for her. It's very necessary. I could go with you if you want me to. Oh, no, 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 no. This is my this is my battle to fight, you know. I'll go talk to her. If she takes me back, fine, but if she does not, I know that I am going to owe her that gratitude for the rest of my life. For all that she did for me. But dude, that girl must have spent up to million on you, you know. What? Over five million? Hmm? Oh yes, you know what she did for me? She was giving her arm and her leg to ensure that I got back on my feet and give me all the support that I needed. And what did I do? I was just being stupid. 
okay, I get it. I was frustrated at the time, but I think I could have, you know, handled things better. In hindsight, I, I, I could have done better. Thank God you're beginning to realize your mistakes. It's not late. It's I hope, late. I hope, I hope it's not late. Thank God you know that. <laughs> I need to understand everything that is happening. Is this rooted power that is interfering with the powers of Mika? I can't see anything. tell you that I am sorry. All that happened was my fault. All you really wanted was for me to get back on my feet. Okay? I take all the blame for not cooperating, but please understand that I was scared. You know? Now I, now I see that my problem was spiritual, but I wasn't doing what you wanted me to do at the time because I felt it was evil. But now I know better. Please, forgive me. You really hurt me. We had been together for so long and I was so shocked that she could not even put a little faith in me. All I ever wanted was for you to get back on your feet. I know. I know. I want to say that I owe you a lot. I want to say that I'll give you an Okorundo all the credit that you deserve. Especially you, my love. You went over and beyond just to get me back on my feet. But I took you for granted at the time and I overreacted. 
but I am here to tell you that if you give me a chance, I'll make it up to you. Okay, please. So, is everything okay with you now? Well, with faith, I'll say yes. I have done what needs to be done. And I feel this, this air of restoration around me. There's, there's, there's a dis different feeling around me. I can feel it. And, 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 and plus, the Ministry of Works just called to reconfirm my account. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. I have a feeling that they want to pay me for something that I have, that, 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 that I'm being owed for. I don't know. But I see a turnaround. Okay? That's, that's wonderful. I always knew that one day everything will be fine with you. Everything will turn around for you. I'm happy. Let's go inside. As you can see, it's a very big portion of land. My wife suggested I build a hotel, but I intend to build an event center, so I will want you to handle it. That's why I brought you here. That's a brilliant idea, Chief Obata. You yeah. see, looking at this land, a super event center can comfortably sit on this land. And it will give you the kind of money a hotel wouldn't. You can say that again. <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> so, no problem. So, you draft everything, get back to me. I'm all you. Yes. Hey, where have you been? Kachi. I can see that Kama has finally come knocking on your door. What are you talking about, you enemy of progress? You are your own enemy of progress, Kachi. You sought to destroy the one who would have given you wealth with peace of mind. Kachi, you chose the first lane. Now, as you can see, you're already at the last bus stop. And there's one thing very interesting about this, your end game. You are the only one at the bus stop. Believe me, you will suffer. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. Is it making sense? This is your end. There is one payback about evil. It will surely haunt you. It will surely haunt you, Kachi. You have not even started. Mad people everywhere. Evil man. Mad people everywhere. I was saying. Curse. <laughs> From what I saw, do you think that man is okay? He oh, looks insane. No, he's not. I felt as much. He's not okay. He was once my friend. Was. You see that young man? He is involved with a deadly cult. And we have recently just demonified the operations. And that's why he's running mad. It's all right. Can we just uh, continue with what I was telling you before? We were rudely interrupted. Okay, sir. Um, uh, you draft everything you want. Just give me a call. That's what I do. Of course, I just, I've just given you my candid advice. This, this very event center is going to give you the kind of money a hotel wouldn't. You made the right choice. I'm just that giving you my, so so <laughs> my advice. I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. It wasn't easy living without you. I'm I telling you. you. I miss you more. Even though you got me very upset. Oh, Come on, baby. What have you done I'm, to me? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <coughs> oh, my way out. Okay, see you later. I'll be back in the same day. Uh, Sophie, I... I have been meaning to ask you. Are we quarreling? Well, I just realized that um, you're back after a very long break. I 
hope you didn't come back. Now, Sophie, I will not warn you again. Do not ever speak to my man with such disrespect ever again. And who wants respect? Will first respect himself. What you and be productive. I'm out of here. It's okay, honey. I listen, this is my fault, right? If I had listened to you from the beginning, all of this would be happening. <sighs> Forgive me. It's That's okay. Great. I'm really sorry about that, okay? It's fine. And nothing is wrong with us anymore. Look, our relationship only passed you a hard time. But we have overcome. All right? Yes, baby, we have. <sighs> Thank you again for taking me back. Huh? I missed you. Listen, Sophie is a non-issue. Oh, stop Take it. Take it from me. Stop it, baby. You're all that I see right now. You're all that matters. Okay? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> uh, one more thing, baby. Um, I'm thinking if, if I get the, the, the money from the Ministry of Works, mm -hmm. you know, in order for us to, to catch up on lost times, I'm thinking we'll just make a trip. <gasps> yeah. Are you serious? Let's take a trip. You oh know. my goodness. Wait. Where do you want to take me? Um, I don't know. South of France. Um, Madrid would be fine. South of France. Um, How about Mabella? I've been wanting to go. Mabella is good. I hear, I hear things. Yes. Yes. All my friends have been there, including Sophie. Oh, yeah, I want too. to pepper her. Take me there. Come on. It's not about her. It's about us. Will you take me there? Yes, I will. <laughs> even if your shadow leaves you in the dark, I'll never leave you sad. Even if the whole world turn against you, I will be right by your side. I'm waiting. Now we wait under the rain. Now we wait under the sun. The fire will keep on burning, and Matt will keep on going. Honestly, Julie, are you sure you're not making a mistake going back to this guy? I'm not. Okay, I love him. Mm. And it's obvious that I can't live my life without him. Look, I believe that soon everything will be fine with him. There's actually hope now. There is. You know what? I feel... I don't know why my instincts is telling me this. I feel this guy is just using you. I mean, open your eyes and refuse to sink with a man who's already gone down. Girl, look at you. No, take a good look at you. He doesn't deserve you. You have everything. I mean, you, you belong to the high and mighty. Girl, look at this. You are here, he's here. Like, look at it. It's Sophie, enough. Please. I belong to a man who brings me peace. I don't love him because of what he has. Uh, I love him because his presence in my life fulfills me. Uh, Listen, stop trying to discourage me because you will not succeed. All right? I'm happy he came back to me. I am. And if he's sinking, I am prepared to sink with him. Excuse me. This guy is high on Kulu's. Period. Boy, why are you not willing to discuss this stuff? I mean, Kama has just cut up the fool who almost destroyed your life. And, and is now roaming the streets like a lunatic. Come on. Why should I waste my time discussing a courtist when the gods of my forefathers are proven to me? that they are superior to any courtist or courtic manipulation. Okoro, I am happy. Hi. Yo. Okoro, listen to me. You don't know how I feel on the inside. I am happy with what's happening in my life. I don't have the time to discuss a fool right now. Eh? Good for you, but you talk like the anticipated uh, breakthrough is finally here. <laughs> Maybe you are right. 
Because as I'm talking to you right now, the Ministry of Works has just paid into my account the sum of 88 million naira. You're not serious, are you? I am serious. <laughs> now, not just that. They also paid with interest because they have owed for a long time. This is something that has never happened before. You will agree with me. Uh, oh in addition, the permanent secretary called me to the side to say that I have been penciled down to work with them on the next mega project going on in the southeast next month. Oh my God! This is this is <laughs> this is this is awesome! <laughs> Come on, give me that. <laughs> in this year, I'm so happy. For you so time. you see where my head is right now, eh? You see, <laughs> you see uh, this evil catch of a guy really hindered a lot of great opportunities for you. Safety guy, do you know that by now you would have been one of the leading federal con contractors? Honestly, <laughs> judging from the kind of grace you command. Uh, well, it's Come not, on. It's not late. It's not late. Ah, it's so not late. I'm I, so happy. For I, you. I'm happy, and I don't want to hold anything against anyone. As much as I am very happy with the people who stood by me through my trying period. You know, uh, receiving all of this great news, you know, has just stimulated something in my spirit. And I said I was going to talk to you about it. I have gone through this phase and I don't think that I'm the only one dealing with it. I went through a lot. You were there, you, you, you saw it with your eyes. And I know that I'm not the only one going through stuff. A lot of people are going through difficult times. And I'm thinking that maybe, you know, we come together and set up like a Thanksgiving ceremony for me where I get to share my story. You know, you never know who needs to hear something. I'm just saying. Oh yeah. A lot yeah. of people might be inspired by my story. A lot of people you know, could get some kind of healing and encouragement just hearing my story. Yes, that's awesome. Very brilliant. It's, it's good because, you see, just like you said, a lot are going through Sam. Secretly, nobody knows. Right. It, 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 it's, it's good. I, and and I, will, I will organize that for you. The best way to describe this situation is that there is fire on the mountain. I'm virtually losing everything, including my head. In fact, it was reported that I was caught running mad. What is happening to me? Young man you caged is your problem. He triggered the ancient powers and now he is free. Kenge Wanka, I thought you said there is a solution to this. How do you mean he triggered the ancient powers? In the occultic realm, we are warned not to challenge or interfere with those powers. I don't know exactly what he did. But the host of benevolent spirits from his family are in his defense now. We can no longer bring him down. Your friend Nathaniel Nazoba Eshozona is destined to be great. And as a good man that he is, he will always help his friends. You should hold on to that. That is not why I'm here. I want you to use your powerful connection to the occult to prefer solution to my problem. And here you are telling me to be a beggar. Come on. You are mistaking me for someone else. My name is Ebubemma Edibiafa that ministers on the currencies of Ugili. I am not into any cult. And you, you are sitting here telling me to use my powerful connection to the all court is misleading. I have no business with the whole court and will never be. By the offer of my fathers, I am superior to the whole court and all the masters of the whole court. Okay. Um, maybe, I mean, just maybe it didn't come out well. But what I'm trying to say is that 
I need help. And I have told you that that young man you seek to destroy is the only ladder that you need to attain success in life. Go and tell your friend to offer a ram to the spirit of his fathers. Let him tell them to come with him in business. By doing so, doors will open in a massive way to him. And he will never forget you when the time comes. What are you saying? I mean, what are you, what are you, what are you saying? I'm not happy with what you're saying at all. I came here for you to prove a solution to my problem. And instead of doing that, you are here discussing about another person's progress, and abandoning the reason I'm here. The person I am talking about has a destiny that will brighten every other person around him. He sees you as a great friend. Gave him the message. See him grow. And his growth is a super growth. Mm. I think I am beginning to understand what actually happened. But not to worry. I will put a stop to it. Permanent stop. You need to urgently solve the problem you created or you will be the solution. I don't understand, great one. How did I create any problem? Three days you have, or you will be the solution. Yes. How are you? Your driver is on the road. Tell him to leave the road. No, ma. Back where? Back where? So good to see you. Wow, where have you been? Ah! Well, I've been around, though. Wow, how are you? I'm fine. Wow, I've searched everywhere for you. Ah, where have you been? So, you what, you remember me? Yes, this is Mr. Donald Ben. Of course I know you, sir. Former secretary. You are the one who <laughs> says you don't know who I am. Wow, wow. I've searched everywhere for you. I mean, you stopped coming to the government hub. What happened? Uh, because you told me not to come anymore. By the way, where, where is your car? Where is your car? Um, well, I a lot has actually happened over the years. I lost my car, but um, I have just um, placed an order for another one. Oh, so really? By the end of this month, I should have another car. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank I you. see greatness in you. Thank you. Um, I don't know where you are going, but can you please follow me to my office? I have something cooking for you. Me? Yes. I, there is something I'm creating. I want you to be in charge of it. Are you sure it's me? It's you. Please. Let's go. Let's go. Come, come. Who am I to say no come, to? Come, come. <laughs> it's been a long time. Thank you. I'm so happy to see well, you. Well, I am very surprised. Yes, come, 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 come. It's, it's okay, sir. I'll just... Uh... Wow. Hey. Just explain it. The whole thing is just like magic. Just in the twinkle of an eye, everything turned upside down. What is happening to me? Someone talk to me because I'm losing it. 
Nathaniel in Nazarbayev is an art. Hey! What? Why are you asking? I, I, my, 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 my eyes? My eyes are not... Sophie, what is the problem? My eyes are not deceiving me. Is Babe. my man okay? Babe, look. Look at this. Look at this breaking news. News flash, oh! Babe, Mr. Nathaniel Nazoba Echozona has been appointed Managing Director of Special Duties Incorporated. Hi! Are you, are you joking or something? And I can be sure it is incorporated. That's where you work, right? Exactly. 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 My dear, as I'm talking to you now, Nathaniel is now my boss, my MD. My goodness, my I'm, I'm, babe, this man is now a billionaire. This agency of government is the apple of the governor's eyes. In fact, we execute all the development contracts and the MD is like a god. And the question I've been asking myself is, wait, hold on. How did he lobby his way through? Babe, I'm just hearing this from you for the first time. He's not even told me anything about it. You see? You see what I've been telling you? Now he has become big and he has abandoned you. I mean, you should be the first person he should have told immediately he got the contract. But now, he never bodied you as a person. I told you. I told you! Didn't I? I don't know what you're saying. What? Oh, wait. My, my empty. Could this be true? What's going on here? Baby! Yeah. Baby. Baby, I've come here to tell you that there is just one species of you in the whole world. You're not only special, but you're different. Baby. God never makes mistakes. You brought us together for a reason us together for a purpose. Our story is about a change for the best. Less than a week ago I ran into the permanent secretary of the government house as you know and we got talking and this morning I have been appointed as the MD of national duties. So it's true? Slow down. But I told them that I'm not going to accept that appointment until I am certain that I have a wife. Now that wife is you, baby. It has to be you. I want to be sure that I have a wife. I want to go through this with you. That way I'm sure that you and I have gone through this. We have gotten to the end of the tunnel and we have seen light. Come to ask you, baby. Will you marry me? I have waited all these years for this moment. I will marry you. I will marry you because you are the very blood that runs through my veins. I love you. Come here. I love you much more, baby. anything else in this world. <laughs> You're at the beginning of my journey. And I will get to the end of my story with you in it. I'll love you today. 
I love you tomorrow. I love you forever. Why? Because you're my lucky charm. <laughs> I want you to undo what you did. I am ready to pay you the kind of money you will never make as a Dibiafa. <laughs> you see, Kashi, or whatever your name is, inside that room where the masquerade is singing, a human is there. Don't cut that to. This is, I am not coming to listen to all those nonsense. I have not come here to listen to all those ancient talks. You were the one who lured that guy into triggering ancient powers against me. And I want it reversed. Okay, now, you're not doing it for free. I will pay you for your services. I will give you like this, uh, 20 million. Or oh, you want more? I want you to leave now. If you fail to leave with your face, you will leave with your back. And don't utter a word. Leave now! Never again in my life will I repeat what I did to stop this union. It's okay. It's good to still have you here because now you have witnessed what the Lord has done. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Do you know Sophie is a staff at Special Duties Incorporated? You're going to be her MD. <laughs> I humble myself. Oh, come on. Get up. Stop it. <laughs> we forgive you. We're one big family. Okay. Yes! Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. What? You want to squeeze in here? Yes! Huh? <laughs> She's great. You know, you two are a typical example that true love do exist. Oh, Thank you. you. I love you we too. We love your stubborn ass. Mm. And we you. love you too. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Shadow leaves you in the dark. I'll never leave you sad. Even if the whole world turn against you, I'll be right by your side. Don't wait in. Now we wait under the rain. Now we wait under the sun. The fire will keep on burning, and that will keep on going. Say, how we wait. Under the rain, I will wait under the sun. The fire will keep on burning, and my heart will keep on going on. Cause love is patient, love is strong, for love and endurance and hope. So I'm never gonna give up on you, and I will never leave your side. Cause love is patient, and love is strong. Full of endurance and hope So I'm never gonna give up on you